about. Anyway, so we want to do our, I want to do a rando guide for a while. And so it's kind of weird because I'm not the person who should be doing a randomizer guide. There are way better people at this than I am, but I, I, I've had some success with it. And so my hope is that I do this. It helps some people out. It's great. And maybe it gets better people and they make like better products than what I could do. The, um, but yeah, like my biggest thing is I love ra racing the randomizer. I think it's the greatest thing ever. Like, um, it's got me through COVID and all sorts of stuff and it's been a ton of fun. But, um, but yeah, I just, especially with the tournament, I figure why not share knowledge and help folks out and like just build like a more of a community of people who want to like race the randomizer and who really enjoy it. The, um, so I'm not going to be talking a lot about like some specific tricks and stuff. Like there's tons of guide videos and stuff like that. And if I end up uploading this to YouTube, I'll just, um, link to those. And like, cause there's already a plethora of information, but like no one's really done like a, a guide video on randomizer and like how to race it probably since season one. And like a lot of things have changed. I'm probably not going to talk too much about like the specific, um, like mechanics of randomizer because like those can like change on the fly and stuff like that, but kind of like, like what you should be doing to approach racing it and, um, and how you like, you can look to shave off some time and such the, um, and what really just like what's worked for me. So again, first disclaimer, like take everything I say with a grain of salt because there's people way better than me and I'll like, openly admit areas where like, I am bad at this. Like don't do what do I do. Don't do what Donnie don't does the, um, Oh, the tow truck's calling. Oh, that's good, man. Yeah, I'm glad they can get that on the go. Because, yeah, that's not fun. The, um, so, yeah, I'll admit in places where I'm not very good. The um, And um, so the plan is I, I want to talk about a couple of things. Like, I've got sort of, like, three things I think that, like, people should have in mind as they're going about the randomizer. And then um, I'll just run through a seed and um, just talk to, like, what what's going in my head at the moment? Like, what am I trying to achieve? And like, how am I looking to, um, to make things happen? And hopefully there's some great insights there. And if this ends up being trash, then it's trash. And if I do upload this to YouTube, like, please let me know in the comments where I could do better. And I mean that not from an algorithm perspective, because I have like nothing to upload there, but like, I'm looking to learn from this as well. So, um, I'm going to hide the, um, the game for just a moment. And I have one PowerPoint slide I want to showcase here. I got some music for the background too, because it's fun. There we go. This is fun background music we're teaching. So there's three things. And the first one I think is the most important. And that's the game state. And mainly like, if I watch other people like run the randomizer, I think the place where people lose a lot of time on are like micromanaging like the equipment and stuff that they're using when they don't need to and checking items like a lot so i don't know if my um my mouse is going to show but so essentially like let's look at the chart for a moment the um so on the left is your need to check items or menu so higher means like you really need to do it and low means you don't and then there's this thing at the bottom which says your game state and speed like your, and when I mean speed, I mean like your relative, like what the game allows you to do from a speed perspective, or just like your ability to, to conquer what's in front of you as like your game state. So like, I think the best example I can give, and I'll talk to it when I get through it, is let's think about your games. Like what, what happens in the beginning of the game? Like you do the prologue, okay. You start in the castle and you have stuff. Let's just assume you don't have a library card for a moment. You get to the end of the first hallway and death takes all of your shit, right? Like, what is your game state at that moment? So you have nothing, right? No equipment, nothing. But what's around you? Is there actually anything that's threatening to you at the beginning of the game? And the answer is really no, right? Like your fists are amazing. And if you've run Castlevania at all, you should have no problem with like running through the alchemy lab with absolutely nothing. Some things can help you out, but generally speaking, your fists are fast in that area. Menuing to like pick up, like to like, especially for a cape, do not menu to put on a cape at the beginning of the game. Please don't do that. You don't need it. The, um, and so like when I like, especially when you get your first few pieces of equipment from the first skeletons, like, the only thing I'm going to actually open the menu for is a shield. And the reason I'm going to open for a shield is because it makes me objectively go faster. So in Season 3 of the Randomizer, I'm going to pick up a weapon, 
and it's going to tell me generally the weapon type. I'm going to know if it's like a two-handed sword, a one-handed sword, or like a club. That's it. Does it actually improve my game state? Who knows? And I mean, especially at the beginning, like I'm going to one-shot everything with my fist pretty much anyways, right? Like you're going to get a boss that you can reasonably murder very quickly, regardless of your weapon. And if you have your fist, it's just as fast, right? So... And I want to menu as few times as possible. So I want to get that sword, and then I want to get a whole bunch of swords. And then when I come to a point where my game state requires the need for a sword, that's when I want to check my items and look through them and say, okay, like, what do I have here very quickly? And just equip the best thing rather than saying, oh, I got a new sword. Let's check the menu again. Oh, I got a new sword. Let's check the menu again, right? And it seems really silly, but look at the image to, like, the right here. The, um... You want to feel like a Formula One driver. And if you haven't watched Formula One before, like you're trying to get like seconds everywhere. If like, it's very easy, you could probably easy look back and if you've won a race by a minute, you very much could have out menued somebody regardless of like your movement and such. And I've actually lost a race because I entered the menu one too many times and I lost by a couple of seconds as a result. So I, I really think that you can save a ton of time just realizing like what is my state of the game right now am i equipped to beat the or, or do i have stuff to beat the game so like do i even need more things and of the things i need like do i need to equip them right now like i have like a sword that does decent damage do i need a better sword now right or like can i wait until i into a counter where i need a better sword or at least i should consider a better sword to get like faster like a boss fight like if i'm gonna go fight all rocks i probably want to check my menu i don't want to check my menu 10 times before getting to all rocks if he's the only thing in between that's actually a threat so this curve is definitely not scientific but you're gonna notice that there's two places that go straight up and straight down so with the game state and speed onto the right hand side, you'll notice that the curve goes down and then it drops. So there should be a point in your run, if you've got good stuff, that you are no longer looking at like your menu at all, and you're no longer trying to find stuff. Unless like it's like right in front of you. Because like every time you check an item, it takes time. And inversely, on the opposite side, your game state could be so terrible that you must enter the menu right now. And that actually speaks to my, my third point, which I maybe should have to order these different, but it's like having poise. And what I mean by that is you need to be able to recognize when you're going to die. <laughs> like I've literally won a bunch of races because I realized that I'm going to get comboed to death and I need to find a solution. And your first solution is hitting start. Never panic. The, um, if you get into a situation where it's bad, like you're in the library and you're surrounded by books, like maybe you picked up a neutron bomb and a neutron bomb is bad, but in that situation, it's good. There's so many like enemies in the game that don't have a lot of health. And if you're surrounded, just blow them all up or realize that like, you, like I literally one time I got stuck in an area and I used a shield potion and that gave me enough defense to get me through this like ridiculous area. That was against um, Hammer and Blade. I got really messed up there. Like, you probably have something that has iframes. You might have better armor. You might have a screen clearing item. Even like, maybe you have a boomerang, right? If you have enough poise to like keep calm in the moment and realize I am in danger and then hit that start button and then figure it out, you'll probably be good. And I realize that's kind of counteractive to me saying like, be a Formula One driver, go fast, fast, fast. But you need to be able to take yourself out of that mindset and say, I'm in trouble, I'm in danger and dying is is a bad thing. It's it's really bad. The um, last thing I'll talk about before I get in, like I'll, I'll mention it through the thing is like, so relic check combo. So especially, so the tournament that's coming up is, um, is casual and every item or every relic check is just as valuable as the other at least in terms of how like any intended logic works so in terms of, of like routing things and i've done this a lot in safe like i try to do i try to check areas when i can do everything if that is possible and i get, think the best example of that is sword card i really try to avoid checking sword card unless i have a transformation that lets me fight all rocks at the same time that's not always going to work but it can, it can do really good things for you. 
the um, I don't have to travel back. It's gonna save you that minute you need to like win the race or, or, or beat someone. The um, so we'll go through a little bit of that as I go th through the run. The um, I don't think I really have a good sense of the meta for casual yet, but um, in general, the you want to avoid going to revisit places if possible. I know there's been a lot of talk recently about if you get early bat, you should go to second castle. And, and if you have holy glasses, that's not a bad idea because like maybe I have jewel of open, but I'll find Merman statue in second castle, and I'm going to avoid that recheck of that area. I'm just going to do it all in one sleep. Or I mentioned the same thing with like the um, the sword card check. If I can get sword card, all rocks, and silver ring in one go, I'm probably saving time, right? So it's thinking about like what do I have right now? Like what checks can I do, and like what do I want to avoid going out of the way for? So. I think that's kind of my intro spiel. Your, your game state's the most important thing. The um, poise kind of is related to it, and then routing. The um, and then everything else is just like like getting like accustomed and good with the game and such, and like being able to perform well. Which I'm I'm not going to cover too much in this, but I'll mention a couple things as I go. So that being said, why don't we actually like run a seat here? So let me turn off Mario. And, um, yeah, let's play some summon. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to admit that I'm really bad at, or at least, like, I'm, I'm definitely not an expert. Wait, hold on. This isn't even the right seat, is it? Hold up. Did I not move this? Oh, I didn't move the file. All right, hold on. Here, close ROM. Say damage. Wait, this isn't even a thing either. Or didn't I know it? Or maybe I didn't. Um, you know what? That probably was the right one. Well, whatever. We're going to run that. I thought I gave it a name. You know what? I didn't actually name it. It's just a numbered seed. So we'll reopen this. My bad. This is what I get for doing this live. Open tools. Yeah, the other thing you want is absolutely all of Talox tools because they are incredible. There we go. All right, we're kind of back on track now. You never ran the seat before, for whatever reason. If I messed up, we'll still go through it. Oh yeah. So the thing I suck at, at specifically is the um, the prologue. I can't do blade dashes well enough to do the prologue effectively. So that's a weakness I have. So definitely don't take what I do in the prologue as like the gospel. Well, you should take nothing I do as the gospel. There are people much better than me. Like I like if like DB or Talek or ASD or any of those great guys make a guide and do the randomizer, completely ignore what I say and, and do what they do. So um the only thing I'll say about the intro that I think is cool is I try to make up time by um with damage stacks. And usually we're thinking about damage stacks as the second form of Dracula, but I actually try to do it for the first form. So I'm going to throw fewer Holy Waters at the beginning so I can start Hydro Storming faster before Dracula's on the screen so that I can start the damage stacks as soon as, as I comfortably can against the first form with the hope that he melts. If he doesn't melt, I just whip him and like he dies the same anyways. The um, And there's enough time through the, um, the, the prologue fight to get rid of all the hearts anyways. So I'm going to, when I get control of Richter in the fight, I'm going to jump towards the candle that has holy water. And while I'm jumping towards it, I'm going to throw a cross to get rid of one more. I'm then going to throw four holy waters instead of six. And I'm going to hit the hydro storm button as fast as possible, even if Dracula's not damageable. And then I'm going to get the, um, like, sorry, the hydro storm. And then I'm going to throw the holy water on top as soon as I can to start those potential stacks earlier. And if I do hit, like he just melts immediately and I say I get like a second like or two back from what I'm losing because I'm slower in the beginning. I think I lose about three and a half ish seconds because I can't do the blade dashes. The um and even if I don't get the stacks, the the whole the hydro storm lasts long enough along with whips that I'm not in danger of the first form teleporting away and like just completely screwing it up. That being said, I'll probably screw it up because like I'm doing it live. But um, yeah, let's give that a go, and then we'll um, we'll keep it going from there. Actually, I don't even need my timer up because I'm not going to use it.
because we'll be discussing things. This like I'm gonna be trying to go fast, but we'll be stopping at places to um, to talk about stuff. All right, so here's what I do badly. I I have to run up the stairs. It sucks, I know, but we're gonna do this. Try to get Richter to stand up right where he is. Perfect. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump and throw across, and then throw four holy waters. One, two, three, four. Run and get this stuff started immediately. He's not even on screen. We've got it on the go. Unfortunately, didn't get the stacks there. But um, if I got the stacks, the first one would have went slightly faster to give a little bit extra or a little bit of time back. It looks like I'm not going to get any stacks at all. And I'm now going to try to play dash, which I'm terrible at. Come on. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, I got rid of this one. So yeah, that wasn't the best. Yo, 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 Black Fox. Come on in. Just talking a little bit about rando strategy and stuff coming into the tournament. So I had a, a cool opening spiel, and now we're just going into it. So now the game's starting. So we talked in the intro about game state. So your game state, we don't know what it's going to be at the beginning here, because I don't know what items I have, but it's definitely pretty strong. And it's strong because I know I have a shield. I can go faster right now than I can after death, right? So what I do when I get to this point here is I immediately hit start. And I'm looking for a couple of things. If I can glance at it, I'm looking at what my attack is. And my attack is 84, which is ridiculous. The um, Not that I would spend this much time looking at it. I just quickly go in. So the what I'm doing here, the biggest thing, is I'm looking to see if any of my intro items are a library card. And because usually people look at the library card at the end of the hallway. And I don't... Like, like, I don't want to go to the end of the hallway. If I'm going to go to the library, I want to go now. I'm going to save, like, 45 seconds to a minute. So, I just want to know, are any of my two starting, like, usables a library card? And I want to do that immediately. The, um, if it is a library card, the, um, like, checking the item here can be fun, or at least give you a bit more, um, like, security to say, okay, I have something that's sellable. As long as it says it's valuable, no matter if it's fairly valuable or very valuable, you have enough money to buy the um, the relic in the shop. If it's if it says anything that doesn't, then it's only one fifty. But um, yeah, man, it's good. Like like you do miss out on like the two items um in the intro like with the skeletons but otherwise like the two items you had go from the beginning to death you can still get later the um so this it doesn't happen often that you get a library card here but you might as well check it now and if you get a moment to glance at your attack which you shouldn't be spending time on but if you get get to see it i now know how confident i can be walking into the wargs am i going to one shot them or am i going to three shot them right at 84 these guys are going to go down really quickly so i don't even have to like back off i'm just slashing right into them and i know i'm not going to get knocked back by moving in so it's a really cool thing so what i'd recommend even if you don't have money and i've, I've done this a couple of times it's a bit of a like it's a big risk but like do it anyways if you don't have enough money in like the shop the um you can either grind for it or you can keep going especially in casual and just hope you hit somewhere else and you may say well i've wasted it then but at the very least i have all of this stuff and even if it's bad i have a shield i'm going to go through the rest of the game upwards to the library faster than everyone else the um and if i like, um, potentially I can go a different direction because I know what's here. The um, So I may be able to do things like avoid um, doppelganger. That's, like, the biggest thing, I think. Like, I love if I hit library and it's nothing there, then at least I know I don't have to go and fight doppelganger and take that time if there's no other, like, jumping progression that gets me through. And if it's, like, I don't know, if it's Jewel of Open at the start, then I can confidently say, well, I don't need to go to the library. I've already been there, right? So I save on the not fighting doppelganger, not going into library because I'm already there, and we've saved because we don't have to, um, or save time because we haven't gone to the end of this long hallway. 
but unfortunately we didn't get a library card so we're just gonna keep her going and like a conflict going to this guy wow i've got a girthang and a varda this is ridiculous so our game state right now is unless like my defense is low which i didn't look at it like it's insanely high like we're ready to beat dracula like right now so if i was keeping this my need to look at items is like almost like zero because the only thing that helps us out is mana prisms duplicator and library card and the likelihood of finding those things through a lot of searches is low All right, are we gonna get a library card here? No, we're not. So we can just go in confidently. We don't need to look at it. We're gonna let death take our stuff. All right, rip our stuff. All right, so like I was saying in the intro, our game state right now is not bad because the challenge ahead, yeah, it is weird that Varda was Varda. So the challenge ahead here is not great, right? Like. Our fists are going to get us through all the way to the library, no problem. So there's an item down here. I'm not going to go on my way to get it because it's not going to improve my game state until like the library, maybe. The um, Or it probably won't. I mean, like it could be like a thrust sword. If you're really um, aggressive, it could be like a toadstool or anything like that. But it's not likely to change our game state. So we're just going to keep going. This is perfect. The only, th actually I would do it later, but the only thing I want a menu for is a shield. So let's look at this. So shield is amazing. The shield's gonna give us defense. It might give us attack. This one clearly doesn't, but it gives us speed. And it's the only thing I want right now. There's, there's like almost no weapon that's gonna make me go through this next section faster. The, um, obviously I want weapons, but it's not gonna make me faster. The hel a helmet is not going to make me faster. If anything, I'd say a helmet's actually going to make me slower, because there's this one damage boost I do, that um, if I have too much defense, it'll make it up. You're right. We should wait to get the second one. That's that's exactly, you're absolutely right. But I, I had it happen now, so I'm just going to go through it. But you're absolutely right. Wait till you get the second item, and then equip it, and then you're so much faster. 100% agree. But yeah, the helmet's not going to make me faster. The armor's not going to make me faster. The cape is only going to make me look fashionable. The, the gems might make me faster, but I don't know, right? The, the, the beauty because of item randomization with its stats is regardless of what stats roll on this shield, it's good. The weapon could reduce my, like, um, like my attack. Or the armor might have nothing on it. Or I pick up something and like it's like a um, starry light and it just increases the power of the cross, right? Not, none of that helps me right now. So I don't want to check it now. I want to spend as less time in the menu as possible. So you're absolutely right. We would have normally waited to beat this guy too. Because if he drops something, we might as well look at both. And like, So this would have been a mistake because I want the best shield if I'm going to get it. Because one of them may have like attack on it. I'm not going to do it now, but like that's the ideal. You want to beat both of those guys here. And then look over here. Like if you grab this, you might as well look over here. Although like you got to remember, I wouldn't go out of my way to get this unless it was like a library card. It is possible to get with just the gravity boots. But, um, you know, you can take a peek at it. I wouldn't go out of my way to peek at it though, because whatever is over there isn't going to help my game state probably for a while unless I can get immediate access to it. So... The gravity boots are like literally like probably the best thing you can get outside of bat to begin with. And with it, you can be exceptionally greedy. So usually the play is to go to the left here, but if I want to be greedy, I'm just going to skip all this, except I'm going to get bullied. And I'm just going to like go here because like, what are the odds of that thing down there? That's going to cost me like five to six seconds to get is actually going to help, right? Maybe it will, but like, like I can actually take a look at it to see. Like, it's totally random. Oh, there wasn't even anything over here. So we would have, like, shield dashed over here, had to fight these two extra guys. This bone guy up here who is here, who's an absolute champion. And then this guy. When, you know, we don't need it. Like, just, like, jump up. This is the damage boost I was talking about before. If your defense is too high, you can't do that. But, like, getting by those two obstacles there, just run into the skeleton and let him, let him hit you backwards. The, um, you don't need to worry about the spikes at all. Oops, now I'm not going to be able to do it, but there we go. Even if you land here, you get enough recovery frames to go through it. So 
The other reason why I don't want to menu for armor, because A, it doesn't help, and B, it actually slows me down. I don't want to try to kill this guy, and then jump over this, miss it, get hit, go backwards, right? Racing to turn over, just make the right choices, yeah, absolutely. Just, just be good, like, just be Nostradamus and predict everything. <laughs> yeah, dog, how are you doing? So we want to check that because it's right over here. Yeah, BASD is number two. And, like, do anything he does. Also, don't forget to do these checks. I forget so often with gravity boots to actually check up here. Also, so, um, Power of Mist. If you don't have Spike Breaker, you want Power of Mist. The, um... If you have Spike Breaker, you don't really need it. It'll save you some MP, but whatevs. This room, especially with gravity boots, well, first of all, there's the IQ check over here. And like, again, like, I don't want to like necessarily go and check this because it's gonna take time. Like, my, my timer to how long it takes to do gravity or to do, um, the whatchamacallit, the IQ check over there, starts like right here. Because at this point, I can just go up, right? And if I've got gravity boots, I can just like start doing this stuff, right? And like making it happen. If I could actually do these jumps, which I'm terrible at. So if you're not good at these jumps, don't bother with this trick. Why can't I do this now? There we go. Yeah, like you can get stuff here, right? But it's like, look at, so like, like look at game state, right? So my game state right now is I can comfortably do anything up into the library, no problem. Some things may make that go faster, but like, I'm not in any danger right now. So like, we don't really need what's behind here. It could be a duplicator, it could be a library card, but it's more likely to be peanuts, right? Like literally peanuts. And again, like it's it's a, it's a it's all, like, cause it's a randomizer, right? Everything is a risk. So like, personally, I've been doing this less just because it's so out of the way, right? You have better odds gain to drop than the check to be useful. Yeah, that's true. To be fair, the, because we have like practically nothing right now, like item checks are theoretically more valuable, but like we don't need it right now anyways, right? Like we're gonna run into a bunch of stuff. And like there's so many library checks or so many checks in the library because if we have money, like there's like 50 items there, right? So who knows? So really if I come into here, especially if I have booths, I'm just gonna go for it. The um if I could do this jump. There we go. So I'm just gonna jump up to here, jump up two more, and then go to here. And then the next room has an item usually. Great. I'm just do one gravity jump from here. Gets you to the top. You don't even bonk. It's perfect. And then this one I love. It, it sucks if you miss this gravity jump because you fall through the floor. But if you try to do it from here, you miss all these guys and you don't bonk from that area. The um, So you can just keep moving along. Then you just do the same shit over here. Go up. You can go up the side. Saves a little bit of time. But yeah. I do... I don't always have that much trouble with the standing diagonal, but um, I'm having it right now, apparently. The, um... Yeah, that's... Dogwood's probably right. I'm just explaining. But I do mess it up sometimes. Like, it can be the case that, like, you actually, like, lose time to, like, doing all those silly jumps. But, um... If, if, you, if you're comfortable with it, go for it. So, like, going into this fight, like, I could go in the menu right now, right? It's, like, if I have a weapon, but, like, most of the time it's not going to matter. But when I think about what's coming next, right? So, between... Oh, hey, Matsuki, yo, 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 yo. So, between this boss fight and the end of Marble Gallery, there's one more guaranteed item check. The, um... That, that makes sense, at the very least, to go for so, like, theoretically, I, guess I could wait to menu there in order to um, to maximize or minimize the amount of times I'm going into the menu. But at the same time, what's also in your way are the bloody zombies, and it kind of sucks if you have to three-hit them. So I don't have a weapon in my menu, I know that. So I'm not going to menu right now, because the likelihood of the jewel being something that gives me more strength enough to, like, not three-hit the dudes is low. So I'm going to wait until I get to that orb, If I even if I need to menu there at all anyways. I probably don't. I'm probably good until the stone roses. I do have the air shield, that's right. But, um... It might be a weapon, that's true. But I don't know if I... Like, the likelihood of the shield, like, having a hitbox and doing damage is so low. Like, 
what you said at the beginning was correct. I should have waited to do both those guys to um, to menu, and, and normally I would do that. But I, but I really want to talk about like don't menu for a, a um, don't menu for a cape unless you really want fashion souls, which I kind of do. I love fashion souls. So I'm just gonna fight these guys. Like I know I have a gem in my thing, but like I don't know what it is. So we're just gonna do the standard fight. Nothing special here, right? Just fight these guys. The only thing I'll say and it'll probably come up later is um the whatchamacallit. In that fight where like they don't do anything when you're standing like pretty close to them, you can actually abuse that on a lot of bosses. Actually, I can just do this. And um Oh yeah, the relic. Yeah, this is, this is exactly what I was talking about. Like rule number one: don't forget about things. Absolutely. See, I'm trying to explain things, but yeah, if you get it, like, and I've done this before. If I get gravity boost to start, I audibly say I need to check both things. So like, hopefully, put that in my mind to like actually do it, right? But you're 100% right. We gotta grab this. That would have been actually really bad to come back for this. So don't make that mistake. Anyway, so um. We'll just talk about it again. Yeah, so a lot of bosses, their AI does not start until you get close to them. And it gives you enough time or enough spacing that you can do the Tetra Spirit and then use the walking frames of it to get close enough to start the AI and get the um, the spirits to like home in on them. And like, especially if your game state isn't great, the um, it can be a really good lifesaver. Especially against Scylla, because Scylla can be a, a mess sometimes. Thankfully, I can two hit here. So I'm just going to stand up, otherwise I'm just going to punch them right in the dick. Oh, actually, fuck, I forgot to talk about this room. Alright. I wish I could restart this room, but I can't. So, in this room we're in right now, the only threat is the spittle bone. And, so like, if you've got a weapon, you can just kill the spittle bone and be on your way, right? But oftentimes you're not going to have it. So either you're trying to punch the spittle bone, which is a problem, don't do that, because you're more likely to just get poisoned and it becomes a mess. Or you're you're um, doing a spell to get. Oh yeah, I could do that. You know, what? I probably will do that because like like what I want to explain right now. The um, so you're right. I'm gonna give that a try to reset it. But um, so you're either gonna try to kill the spittle bone with like a weapon, which is fine. Try to kill the spittle bone with your fist, which is not fine. Um, use iframes to get through the spittle bone, which is also fine. Or wait for the spittle bone, which sucks. The better thing, and this works like almost like 99% of the time, is if you, from the top of the room, you just sh dash in. You don't even need the shield dash. So I'm actually probably positive right now, so I could take it a bit slower. And then when you fall down, just fall to the left, grab the item, and then jump over and go through that, um, that narrow passageway while back dashing. You don't even need the shield for it. Where the spittle bone will be is on an angle. When he so he's making the transition from the side wall to the um, to the flat ceiling. And what I've found, at least from experience, is when he's in that sideways transition, he won't drop the poison. And you can just freely go by and you don't have to do any of those things. It doesn't save a ton of time, but it does save like you don't need to worry about like spell execution. You don't need to worry about waiting, and you don't have to risk getting hit by the poison because that can be a mess, especially if like the axe bros start throwing axes at you, and the um like you're taking a huge amount of damage, right? Then you gotta like save or like recover your health. It's a bad deal. So I'm gonna see if I can just do it right now where I have where I've landed. If I can, great. If not, then um, I'll reset the room and show it. But it's pretty free if you just go through the motions here. So you go up here. No, I was a bit late from that jump. So I'm going to try to reset this room. Oh, I got to be a bit closer. Let's kill this guy. Oops. Or I can go the long way, too. Because I, I do want to, like, showcase this. Uh, nah. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm just going to go the long way for funsies. Because even with... And I'll even do it without the shield. Like, it's literally free. And, like, even if I'm wrong about the edge and he hits you with the spit, like, at that point, like, you're beyond, like, like, you, it'll probably hit you beyond, like, the, um, the small archway there. So, you can just continue on. So, let's just do this here. So, we beat that guy here. We're just going to backdash, keep dashing, pull to the left, break the thing, grab it, jump, go over here, and then there. You, you arrive there at the exact right moment. 
And I messed up the first time because I didn't jump effectively over the um, the Axe Knight. But um, you just get it every time for free. You don't need to like do like a spirit summon over here or like try to beat him with your fist. You just get through and you can continue on your merry all right. So like we got a shield, so we equipped it, which is perfect. Again, shields are like the or anything that gives you back dash cancel is amazing. And we got through. We didn't need any weapons or things. So like like I I'd recommend to folks like you don't need to like especially the beginning of the game, like don't be spending a lot of time in your menu. Get stuff, and then when you do need things, do one menu that's really effective. So if um ideally you're getting like or actually it's more so over here. So like, ideally you're getting to the end over here at like the five minute mark. The um it it is possible to go faster. Like I think my fastest was I got here in four minutes and twenty seconds. And I didn't have a weapon. I just had a shield. The um, and I, I ignored a bunch of things. I probably did the beginning trick with the um. Oh no, I wouldn't have had grav boots because if I have grav boots, you're doing additional checks, which messes up your timing. Yeah, exactly. So sometimes timing is better than speed. Absolutely right. Like in that example over, over in the other room, right? Like if you just like you don't even have to shield dash. You just hit that place in the right moment. You're right that the you're right the um. It's usually not too much of a time loss, as long as you don't get stuck. And I find that when I get poisoned, I get stuck a lot. So that's like where like the time loss starts happening. Or like, like, like some folks will do like the spell to get through it, like with iframes, and that's fine too. But then you got to spend the time doing the spell and stuff like that, right? Because like the cool thing is like, especially in this situation here, right? The um, I what I'm aiming to do because like my current plan is I'm gonna go to the Coliseum if I've got boots. I want to get there as soon as I can in the, the site. It's like the reverse clock cycle. I want to get there like before the six minute mark, ideally. So any couple seconds I can save because I'm going to have to go down and like check Spirit Orb is going to let me get there before like the thing opens because that's the, that, that's the closest time I could get to being as fast as I can up there. The, um, and then anything else just gives you a bit of a buffer and, and like a bit of breathing room. And if you get there like insanely quick, you can like kill a couple of extra... Um, Fleeman, but you probably don't have that much time trying to get there in six minutes. So, I had a lot to say at the beginning of the play, at the beginning of the game, and I'm gonna have less to say over here. Although that clock is really cool. Like, like this next part, like there's not really much to talk about outside of what like runners normally do. The um, the only thing I would say is um, like right now my health isn't great, and let's assume it was lower. There is an option for me to go and. Um, Let's see here. Uh, no, we don't want that. And I don't want Magic Missile. Yeah, how to save time. Yeah, like, you should be looking over here. Like, in the bottom left corner, you can see that little um, card. If you're not familiar with that, that's a really big time save. If you see nothing there, go down, because it could be, like, the um, the rings or Spike Breaker, which would be really cool. Or glasses, which we, we have now. Also, because I've got um, Gravity Boots, I can check the items above this. Obviously... Magic Missile still sucks even in um, Season 3, the um, so we're not going to go and get that. But let's just say here my health is shite. At the top, there's a save room, but I don't want to use the save room because I haven't saved yet, and I'm going to have to go through the coffin cycle for it to save the game the first time. So what I've been finding works, and I, and I do want to do that, but eventually I want to do that when I'm save splitting. So I kind of want to save that first request wired hard go through the coffin at a time where i actually want to save and because i don't need mana right now i've been having a lot of success just standing like here there's a bone guy at the top or the all these candles and just soul steal like i'm practically at full health right now like and i don't need the mp so i avoid that whole thing of the um the save room by just like saying okay like like what again like think about game state right i've got a whole bunch of mp just sitting there doing nothing let's just soul steal get my health back i don't need to worry about the table i don't need to backtrack through that save room and i don't really need to save right now anyways it's not really a big deal here is also good to do the same thing because there's four candles right so you're gonna get like what's four times eight like 30 something 36 health or whatever like that's a good amount of health like you're probably fine there yeah so these guys suck oh i got lucky usually yeah, that doesn't work out that well but if you get here at the six minute mark and you haven't menued, then that that's when this is going to open up here. So I don't even know what time it is. So I, I got to wait 40 seconds. But um, ideally, you're pushing really hard at the beginning. 
so that you get to this room um, before this opens because that's the fastest to, to like get there. And like if you get there even faster, great. You can just wait a couple of seconds. It's usually not like too long. Or if you're not going to go this way, just like keep going, like progress on and, and, and make it happen. The um, If I had to wait 40 seconds here, I, I wouldn't um, go and do this check, but like because we're like our timing's off because we're doing tutorial stuff, the um, we're all messed up. But um, actually, this is a good example. So like game state again, right? So I've got 40 seconds to burn. I might as well kill these guys, right? Like their drop chance is low, but like I've got a clock right now. I could use the extra hearts, right? They could drop money. Like there's all sorts of stuff. Like might as well just beat the shit out of those guys. Great. So we got an onyx. So we're not going to worry about that onyx right now because um, what we want to do is is equip those at a boss fight or take a look at them. Magic missile, the thing I was saying was useless. And I forgot, I didn't check the other item on the um, the second piece, which I should have done because I had grab boots up from um, Spirit Orb. Anyway, so I'm usually going to check this over here. Like, it's, it's three items and I have a boss coming up. Now, to be fair, the boss is very defeatable with your fists. But having insurance at this place is um is very nice. And like money is cool too, because we haven't gone to the library. So even if those aren't anything, if they're money, they're great. It doesn't take us that long to get through here. And um there's all sorts of goodies you can get. That soul steel thing also works really good against this guy here. Like if you're low on health, there's so much here. Like don't worry about it. And you're gonna take him out, get a bunch of experience, some money, right? So Ain't, like, if you feel like you're going to have to save for the next fight coming up, just soul steal that guy and you'll probably be fine. It's not to say that that doesn't have any inherent risk to it, but, like, you really cut down your risk. Alright, let's see what um, these guys have in store for us. And Oh, so we, uh, we want that. So we're going to have to go and fight these guys. So if we can avoid taking a bunch of damage over here... By just jumping over our friends or letting these guys go over here yeah absolutely no i said the same yeah, yeah you're right so if there's nothing there at um or it doesn't look like there's any spirit orb absolutely you got to go down the whole thing no it's good to keep talking about it because like it's such an easy thing to say oh there's nothing there especially for folks that have haven't played since like um season one right like that could absolutely kill a run so if I'm going to fight these guys, I actually like opening up this, um, oops, not this. This is a mistake. The, um, I really like opening up this shortcut because I don't have to do a loading zone transition to open up this shortcut. The, um, like you would at the shortcut at, um, at sword, at sword card. And I get a free item check out of it. The, um, so I'm saving and this shortcut I find is better than the sword card one. So I'm going to save my time, self time potentially later by not opening up that other shortcut. Open up this one instead. I got a free item check out of it. So all good. And then whatever this is here. So let's see what we got. Check these things first. None of them give me anything. None of them have a, a thing, but I got lots of money. The um, I usually like doing this fight with my fists. The um, I find it more consistent. The um, This shield is better, so I'll put it on. But... Um, we can at least take a look here. We got one sword. It's actually really good. And fire, so it's weird. Firebrand as a name always translates to firebrand as a sprite. And firebrand always double hits. So this sword is is really good, even though it's only 34. I'm not going to use it for this fight because fists are king in this fight. But the um, I'm going to equip it afterwards for sure. Also, I'm going to talk about this for a second. I've got block of knives. Now, this block of knives not that good. But block of knives in season three are mint because they could be very powerful. If it hits a guy, they stay on screen. Like this is the Dracula killer. I always feel good if I've got a block of knife. If I either I can buy a whole bunch of them or if I get a duplicator later on. This is like this murder shaft. This murders Dracula. You can just stop doing like item checks. It's all good. The um, might as well put some defense on this bad boy. Slaps. That's great. And we got nothing else. The unfortunate thing here is if we think about game... Well, actually, no, we're in a good place. So I've got insurance. I've got this elixir. Like, I mean, the fact that it, like, gives me, like, health, it gives me iframe. So if this fight goes wrong, I've got an elixir. I've got a block of knife. I've got this flame star, the boomerang, the magic missile. A lot of them do 39 for whatever reason. But, like, there's ways out of bad situations. So, like, when we were talking at the beginning, like, under, like you don't, I wouldn't look at this right now. But if the fight went bad, 
have poise, pause, figure out what you've got, and then take it on again. Like, that's when you want to be slow. Like, you want to be slow when things are bad, and you're like, you're like, I can die here. Like, figure it out first. Like, don't don't get, like, comboed. Like, I could very easily just elixir, throw it a boomerang, and, like, be fine. Because the boomerang is going to hit, like, multiple times, or at least maybe it might hit both of them. But anyway, so we'll just do this fight the glitchless way, which is the best way. Just fist this guy. The, uh, I'm not going to spend time explaining it because there's a whole, like, sorts of guides and stuff. Just don't get too close and just beat the hell out of this guy. Oops, got a little too close, but that's fine. Alright, so nothing really to see there. It's just more of a conversation of, whoops, the, um, like, what you do before then, and, like, making sure that, like, you understand what to do if things go badly. Alright, so, oh yeah, about this switch, if you just shield dash over the switch, it shouldn't open, but it'll open instantly now that I click it, because it, it goes down so far. Oh, shit. These guys stink. At least the first one does, because you can't really jump over. So we could save now if we want to, because the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to open the teleporter. In a perfect world, where it does, when we don't... Or I shouldn't say perfect world, but I, what I, a cool strat I like is imagine we just have gravity boots at this point, And maybe the relic we just got was, I don't know, a Vlad, right? So we had to get it. So... If I just if I got gravity boots at um, at the spirit orb, then I wouldn't have had anything to check the things in the or the the laboratory. It's a really cool strat from here to open the teleporter um, here in all rocks quarters. Use it to immediately go back to the lab and then do those checks because I'm getting value out of opening the teleporter immediately. And then I'm also going to get value out of um, opening the entrance teleporter, which is generally closed to you. So there's a lot of cool value. Oh, yo, Duke, man, let's go. Yeah, man, early Friday. Actually, I just got to check in on work. We were allowed to go early, but I'm just going to take a peek just to make sure no one's sending me a message here or anything. Uh, and we're good, so that's fine. Long weekend. The boss was nice. Let's do things, but I'm still keeping an eye on some stuff. Anyways, <laughs> you got to rehab, yeah. No, 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 definitely not in rehab. We're just filming a little tutorial video. Anyway, so usually, th so this teleporter up here, you want to open it when you know you don't have to, um, like when you, if you've got gravity boots, you usually want to open this. I'm not going to go and get sword card right now because I don't have a transformation. And I don't want to double dip if I don't have to, so I'm going to risk that. But what we're going to do here is, because now I have flight, I'm going to open up this um, teleporter I'm going to double back down to the clock room. I'm going to do the check there. The um, And then we're going to keep going to the library. Also, what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to... So actually, I should stop. Hold on. I'm not going to use the, the thing we just opened, um, the shortcut, to the far left. I'm just going to continue to ruin your tutorial. <laughs> Oh, that's all right. This tutorial is probably not going to get very far anyways, but I'm not going to use the um, the shortcut I opened um, at all to go up to the keep because it's almost always faster to um, to go through like the library. Like, I timed it at one time and like it was like 30 seconds faster to go up that way. The um, I could be wrong and I'm sure like people will correct me if I am. But um, I almost never go the long way through the um, Colosseum to get to the... Um, to get to keep. I want to go the other way around. And also there's going to be a ton of things. Speaking of correcting me, ASD's here. So he's going to correct a lot of things, which is great. But hopefully you're doing well, man. The um, We're just talking about a whole bunch of things and stuff leading into the tourney. And I've wanted to do this for a while. And you haven't made a guide. And neither has DB or anyone. So the um, once someone better than me makes a guide, this will be obsolete. Anyway, so let's open this teleporter up here. Most of my good insights were like in the lab because that's where like I got a lot of cool things at but um otherwise the um we'll just go through this yeah there is no right way to play casual well there is like trying to like um get things at the same time or whatever like I I'm going to like for myself like I avoid doing the sword card right now because I don't want to double back I don't have to 
I'll do that when I got a transformation later on. But yeah, so especially because like right now, right? So I don't have like well, I actually do have a weapon. I probably should equip it. Our fists are good, but the weapon will be better. So I probably will equip it. But um, we saw I had a whole bunch of jewels before. I don't need to go like up that like shaft to get like try to get stuff. Like I've got money. Let's just go fast, right? Right to the library and get things. So because I've messed up, I didn't re-equip the sword. I'm not going to equip it until we get to the stone roses, because that's really the only time I really need it. Those stone roses can be a jerk. And um, also, they, um, they're they weak to cut. And I think fire, but um, at any rate, the um, we don't need them right now. Or, or we don't need the, the, the weapon until that point. So I'm going to wait because we could get drops. And look at all these swords I got, right? Like, I would have wasted time like put, equipping that sword, and now I got something better. Unfortunately, one of those was a, a thrust sword, but that's not needed anymore because we've got the old um, leap stone. Ghost dies now becomes sword tap. Huh? So, like, obviously, if you get like the um, the um, the two hander, it gives you a lot of options. The other thing I'd love to see, and I actually might try to practice this, is if you get like a toadstool, like you could totally get up to like the um, the Colosseum early, and there's no reason why like that won't drop more so than anything else. So you might as well go grab. These guys have a crap drop rate, so I'm just gonna equip the sword now. We know the fire brand's good. That, oh, actually, here we go. Fuck it. Oh, actually, no, this is, no, this isn't what I want, sorry. I want that over here. So this weapon here, you get slices cleaning through enemies. To me, this is the best item in randomizer. And I know that may sound silly, but let's ignore the item stats for a moment. If I could get one item at the beginning of the game, I would set, I would choose Vorpal Blade every single time. So Vorpal Blade is a beast of a weapon in itself. Even if the stats are low, you can mash through it. But I can shield dash too with a Vorpal Blade. And I can dual wield with a Vorpal Blade. Like, Chris Grimm can't do that. Well, I mean, sorry, Chris Grimm can do those things, but it can't do the, the dashing part. So it's not a great dual-wielding sword because you still need a shield to go really fast. So, like, and to be fair, Holbein Dagger does the same thing, but Holbein Dagger doesn't have the same range. Like, we're ready to, like, kill, like, Akhmadon right now because we have range. And even though we have, like, shitty ability to hit people because this sword doesn't do a lot of damage, it still, like, puts us up, right? To be fair, like, okay, the Obsidian Sword is not that great. The, uh, oh no, Nunchaku, which is the Obsidian Sword, and then this one, which is the... That's actually funny. The Nunchaku is the Obsidian Sword, and the Obsidian Sword is the Nunchaku. Anyways, these are... I don't care that this thing does 70 damage. The, um, I don't need that much damage right now. You, you totally don't. And the, the Vorpal Blade's gonna do that much damage anyways, because you're just gonna, like, hit it like a madman. So now, I've got dashing, and now I have two swords, and that sword double hits. Like, we have so much offense right now. The um, So, Vorpal is 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 literally, the as far as I'm concerned, because you you don't know how what stats it's going to have, it's the best thing in the game. It just solves so many problems for you. So, now we're freaking cooking with gas here. But I don't even need to use the arrow. I, I just use it out of the habit. I would take Vorpal over Christogram. Especially early in the game, only because the um, it can dash. Like, if you... If you were starting a race and you got to pick Vorpal or Christogram, like, Vorpal is just gonna, like, mostly win because, like, unless it has, like, really shitty stats, because you can just go with it, right? Like, you could just continuously, you don't even need the shield. If you have it both in a shield, for sure, then you want Christogram. But even, like, with that, like, I can do, um, whatchamacallit, I can effectively shield dash and dual wield at the same time. There we go. Oh, so I have opinions about this item. Here, hold on a second. I'm going to reset this room. Let's say we fought our buddy Doppel here. So we didn't have to, obviously, because of Grav Boots. But um, there's I almost never go for this item over here. Because A, my, again, my fists are so good, right? And especially now. Like, I know I have, I'm dual wielding weapons and I have money. 
there's I don't need I'm not really worried too much about like a single item check because I'm gonna get like 30 item checks in the library with just the librarian alone. He just sounds like Steven Seagal, yeah, I'm not snapping next yet, but but yeah, no, the fists are amazing. But anyway, even if I have nothing, right? I have to come all over here. I've got like soul steel or do like a summon spirit. And then let's say this is a weapon. Who knows what it actually is, right? And there's a, like, unless you can const like consistently do this jump without um, double jump or, um, or um, gravity boots, there's a big risk that you're going to fall down. Like both ways. And then you could get a weapon, let's say, or like, especially like armor, like don't go over for armor. The, um, not this early in the game at the very least, right? The, um, and like you, you've taken all this risk and your game state's not any better for it. And you've spent like the five seconds to like go get it or like the 30 seconds to like have to go through all these rooms again. Right. So for this thing here, I, I like never go for it. The, um, it's a risk because like maybe it's a duplicator that regardless of season three, it's always useful. Like, you know what it is, but, um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave it behind. Like, um, everything is risk reward. And at some point, you gotta be like, okay, like, I, if I go for this, I'm gonna fall down. Vorpal can reach absolutely, yeah. Like, if I had Vorpal, yeah, no problem, right? I can reach it, and, like, obviously we know what it is because I grabbed it. But let's say it's a weapon, even without the spell, right? Or, like, even if I did the spell, I don't know if the weapon's actually gonna improve my game state at all, right? It could be bad. The, um, and I could fall down. Like, the, for my thing is, like, is the item on the other side of the ledge good enough that I'm gonna risk a 30 second time loss? And for, for me, I, I, I won't do it. But again, it's risk reward. I can lose races because of it, because maybe it's a duplicator, but generally speaking, I just keep going. And like, I'm gonna save the time going over there, checking the item, or like, sorry, seeing what the item is, picking it up if I think it might be useful, going into the menu, confirming if it's useful or not, and then equipping it, right? Like that takes time. And then I may fall down. Like to me, the only sure bet that's there is like a, um, is a, whatchamacallit? um a um like a duplicator because like even library card yeah exactly some sub weapons get too absolutely but even then it's just like can i make the jump and like actually grab it and not fall so the other thing here and this is kind of risky because we're playing casual but if i have jumping abilities i'm not going to get the um the item that's up here the um yeah moving options too yeah if you've got like yeah if i've got movement no problem. I grab it every time. Like, especially in this situation, I'm going to gravity boots up there and grab it every time. No problem. It's more on long lines if you've got, like, nothing in terms of relics. And, like, it, you know, like, if I fall, right? Like, it's just so much time. So I'm not going to go up here yet because I can comfortably grab every relic in this place except if I have don't have missed. And it's a sure bet and safe. But um, in casual, it's a bit of a risk. Oh, I don't even, like, tooth those guys here. Alright, well, I'm glad I'm dual wielding. Alright, so not much other fun to talk about here in the library. The library is pretty straightforward. I guess with the exception of our buddy the librarian, or if you're from Toronto, I definitely call him Harold the Jewelry Buyer. So, the game keeps going when, like, you're in the library, right? Or when you're talking to the librarian. So, like, that's gotta be fast, right? Like, especially if I don't, like, in this situation, I have money. So I'm going to be looking at everything because, like, I can actually buy it, right? But if I don't have money or I just have enough money to, like, grab the relic, let's say. Like, I'm not even going to look at what else is there because I can't get it. Harold's a mortgage man now. He actually is a mortgage man. You're right about that. I'll grab this, whatever. But, like, the other thing's a bust. So for me, I've kind of got, like, a hierarchy of, like, things I'm looking for in the library. First and foremost, like, do I need the relic? And, like, if I do, just, like, grab it, right? It, it kind of, yeah. So, like, the thing is, is, like... He, so here's my thing. If if I, um... Usually, in most cases, there's something you want, right? In in most cases. Not all the time, but... But, yeah, in most cases, there's something you want. And my fear is, is that... If I... If I look at something now and say, okay, I'm going to come back for this, I'm not going to remember where it was in, like, the whole order. So I'm going to, like, run through it again, right? So, like, if I was, if I had little money, 
Well, like in this case, I do. So I'm just gonna sell this stuff, right? Here's our buddy Harold, right? So I've got like nine thousand dollar redos, right? And I've actually got a couple things. So obviously, jewel of open, no brainer, right? We're grabbing that bad boy. The other things I really want are like speed. Remember, like when I was talking about game state in the beginning, right? Like what's gonna make you like objectively go faster, right? The um, I hope it slaps. I I might get slapped in the face by a few of the experts in the community who will say I'm no good, and that's true. I am no good. But um, but like yeah, like if they if anyone else better than me makes a guide, like don't watch this anymore. But I hopefully it's useful. So I'm grabbing the first thing. Obviously, like you just need to have jewel of open. That's not a question. If let's say I had like five a thousand dollar redos left, if I didn't have a shield, I'm going for a shield. Or actually, no, that's a lie. I'm gonna look first to see is there like a cheap library card because the library card's probably worth it over a shield. But otherwise, before I look at weapons or accessories, I'm going for a shield. The um, the shield just flat out saves you time objectively. Damn right, it's dollar redos. You better believe it's dollar. I love the dollar redo. If I was the president or if I was the prime minister of Australia, that that currency name would change immediately. And like these can slap. So like the shaman shield, obviously, so that's doing damage at least on paper. So like that could be very cool. I'm not going to worry about it right now because like we've got damage, especially dual wielding. But shields are important. Like just grab the $400 shield. I actually forget often, and I kick myself for it. But like your order should be like, do I have a library card or sorry, like um, necessary relics, library cards, shields. Don't worry about the rest of it. The um, especially like um. And then I, I usually go to accessories after because an accessory, like there's so few that do you good that you can, like this one, like attack plus five, I can comfortably probably keep that for most of the game and not worry about it. The, um, none of these things do anything else. So like, it's, it's, it's expensive to be fair, but like I'm putting plus five on like a Vorpal, which is going to slap the, um, my other weapon double hits and, um, who knows, right? So, like, I'm going to seriously consider this gauntlet. But because it's 8,000, I'd probably, like, take a pause. I'm not looking for capes, for helmets, for armor. Especially right now. Like, yeah, my defense... Like, what is my defense right now if I look at sun? My defense is, like, 8, right? Like, that's serviceable. And, like, I'm hitting people so well now, with, especially with Vorpal. Like, it's not going to matter. Like, like... To me, defense, like, isn't a big deal in most cases, unless, like, you really get fucked. But, um, in most cases, I'm not even gonna look at it. Like, it's, it's mostly not worth your time. There's, like, two pieces of armor that are really cool. The rest of them, just, like, leave them, right? And with helmets, I find, like, I'm gonna be putting on, um, the holy glasses to get through Richter. These holy glasses are actually pretty good, if I remember, if I, when I put them on. But, um, like, most of them are so niche that the, um, it's not a big deal. Just looking for strongest of all armors. Yeah, if you see, like, something that, like, just really slaps, you could grab it. But, like, usually, like, I'll, I'll... Especially if I have low money, I won't I won't take the time. If I've got, like, like $20,000 or whatever from a diamond, absolutely. Like, go, go ham, right? But otherwise, like, just stick to the necessities. We got $8,000 here. The, um... We want to make sure that we've got something that gives us iframes. And look at this. We have mana prisms. This is actually a great example. We've got mana prisms for 400 that's kind of where I want to spend all my money on because it's objectively going to make me faster when I get back, right? The um, We can get like 16, 17 of them right now. That's good for most of the game. And it's going to give us iframes, especially if we need to do like the spike room later on, right? So like in this situation, I probably need to look at the weapons. Like our weapons are good, like especially for like what we need to do in the first castle. Like just, just use what we've got, right? And then use the mana prisms for like when you get bad or just for iframes. We'll take a look at it right now just for fun or like strength potion can be cool. But yeah, like, so I guess like iframes, the um, strength or attack potion can be all right, but usually don't like focus on too much and then just like weapons, right? Monster Valve, three slaps, goddamn. Anyways, so rapier transforms into jewels. So like obviously here you're looking at like the description for how the hitbox is and then whatever the damage is, house order, spike club clubs are, are bad lightning sword is way better than we have right now but um well it's actually not even that better it's well actually no it, it's better like lightning like fewer things um resist it than fire and it's a bit better but we're not going to worry about it stone sword may petrol is gross so yeah all these things like they're bad the um maybe just the shield but honestly like i'm i'm gonna be comfortable with the damage if this is the case like i'm just like just load up on these mana prisms just go ham there we go, we got 21 of those bad boys. Well 
That gives us so much safety and speed later on. And then if I don't have money for anything else, like if I just if I get the relic and then I buy a shield, I'm just gonna peace out. The um and like you because there's very little times when um when whatchamacallit. That like I'm gonna look at something and then like remember where it actually is in the list or something, especially if it's not like a like a a use item like a library card, which is clear at the top when you, you're searching for that anyways. But like the the grind to get some, like unless it's like a cheap library card, it's usually not worth the time. So just get the hell out of here. Just like in my like I was showing before, like let me bring it up again here, right? Like this is what we're trying to do here. You want to be that Formula One racer on the right side. You just want to go. The um like no time to smell the roses essentially. So we'll keep that on the go and we'll keep her going. So it's actually kind of a a cool case right now in terms of like what do we do here right so we got jewel yeah, gas 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 absolutely just like the song suggests just go right yeah three is poise i don't know i only mentioned being at the beginning but and kind of why i bought the mana prisms is if you get into a bad situation have like the like hold form and hit pause like just have enough poise to realize you're in danger and hit pause and then figure it out like there's probably an item that gives you iframes there's probably something that like is a screen clearing item like a neutron bomb like there's like there's solutions there's been a number of times where i would have easily lost a race if i just didn't hit pause stop for 20 seconds and be like oh crap i have a shield potion like like this i i have outs here the um so that's what i mean by poise it's just like like hold form don't panic because it's very easy to panic i do it all the time like just find a way to get out of that solution and usually the answer is just pause the game and just take a deep breath and then figure it out because like it's, it's actually a duality like you want to be gas 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 but you want to have enough poise to say i'm in danger let's not fuck this up right because and again i've done it so many times so in this case here the um i i'm gonna like it like we've got jewel open We've got flight. I'm just gonna go to Castle Keep. I, what I and what I'm gonna do, hopefully, is get something that gives me Merman statue, so I only have to go down there once. Or I find like Mist, which gets me through Blind Room or Bat or Spike Breaker. Like I just want to go down there once if it's possible. So although like all of the all of the item checks are like equally weighted in casual. The um, I want to go to areas where I don't have to double back, and we haven't even grabbed the um, the relic above us right now. So like, we just want to continue in that area of direction. So we'll go there. If we don't hit anything, then we just teleport back down to all rocks, and then we go make our way down to the bottom. Or we could do it here if we get bat things like that. But um, or to actually better actually is go to entrance first and grab the the entrance check if we didn't have jewel. But I'll combine it when I now because we've got jewel open so let's continue on our merry all way here we don't have the the elevator open yet but we haven't gone up this way at all first so this is fine we didn't lose any time for not doing it the only way we're going to lose time is if this is missed and it's well so like is it really worth to come back down for it I don't know maybe it is but I want to talk about this here though this is where I want to spend a bit of time. So it's absolutely worth your time to open this teleporter like we have and to like go back. The um I went in it right away because honestly I'm probably not gonna take skill of wolf. The um we're more like in in safe, yeah, absolutely. But in like I'm more likely I'm just as likely to get bat as I am to get wolf. So it's not really worth it to go up, open the thing, then come back down. But this teleporter here we haven't opened the the teleport at the beginning and we're not in the situation where this is a big deal but let's say you get here and like you have nothing or you just have jewel like a lot a lot of folks will open up the the intro teleporter and like i actually try to avoid it and maybe it's a controversial take but the i've timed it out for for you to enter this room then enter the teleporter and then teleport to the front leave the room open the 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 um the block at the entrance teleporter go back in and get back to where i'm standing right now is 30 seconds or more like that's a long time and you could say well you're gonna save time if let's say this was an early jewel seed and we had to go down and you say well if we hit nothing at the at the bottom then 
we're going to spend more time like getting around the castle. And like, to be fair, that's kind of true to an extent, but like if you hit nothing and at the, so let's say we had only jewel where we are right now. I don't think my mouse shows up on this. Actually, no, I think it does. Actually, I can check that. Does my mouse show up? Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. All right. So if we're here and we have only jewel, if we open the teleporter and then we come back here and we go all the way down and we get nothing, then the next place to go is the keep. And using that teleporter to get over here is only useful if you know how to do the bridge tricks. And if you do, great, then like that, that's an option for you. But like, is it gonna save you 30 seconds from going through all this again? Like maybe it does, but the um, you, you hard need to know this trick and you're in danger when you do that trick because like um, you need to have low defense to do it. You could die. Although watch MT's video because MT's got a great way to do it. I was practicing it the other day and had a lot of success with it. I need to practice it some more. But um, he's got a great video about how to set that up, and then, like other people do as well. But I, I kind of like the um the avenue he was taking. The um anyway, let's say you just get leapstone, then you could say, well, I could go to the teleporter and go up here. And then I can get to keep. And that's that's definitely true. Or you could say, I could go here and then get back to the beginning and go through the, the Colosseum. But I timed it out. It's actually slower. Like you could easily, you could just as fast go from the beginning here and get to the Colosseum. Run faster than someone over here um, going back and then getting over to the Colosseum. The, um, so like if you have Leapstone, you've got options. But if you get over here, and you also get nothing, then you can open the teleporter here and then go back over here. And then like you've, you've at least opened this teleporter, which is, which is I've, in my opinion, you're more likely to go back to this point in the castle than the other one, especially because you can get there from other places. I need to watch MT's video with that bridge down consistent. The Medusas are easy for, oh, okay, cool. I have trouble with the Medusas. Like the bridge part's not that bad for me now because I, I know where to put my foot, but the, um, the Medusas I find are challenging. At any rate, so like if you have nothing, the, um, like, I, I don't think you save time from opening this teleporter. If you have Leapstone, then you can just go to Coliseum and it's faster than going back here. You're taking a different route than someone who would have gone to the, um, the top here, but you're still being, um, productive. The only time it, like, really sucks is, like, if you get, like, missed down there and you need to go here and then go into the library. Even if, like, the, it's both jewels, like, you can easily just run there faster than taking the teleporter. Because, or actually, no, it's a bit slower there because you don't have double jump to make some of the, like, the jumps faster, but you're not losing like 30 seconds most of the time. So look, even if like you think it's still faster, I, I just look at it from this perspective. What are the odds that like it's going to come into play? Usually it's not, and it's a hard 30 second loss. And then the, um, for like a little bit of gain that happens sometimes. So I, I just love, I, I skip it. The, um, again, there's a bit of risk involved, maybe, but um, I'd rather not go and take the 30 second time loss to open it up. The um, because like can, more often than not, it's not going to be useful. I mean, in this case, it's definitely not useful, but um, because we have so much movement options, like we can go and like we can open it when we get back to keep all sorts of things. But um, if it's the early jewel, I just I leave it. It just it's a 30 second thing that like often doesn't pay off. So that's my spiel on it. You don't have to do it. It's just recommendations. Alrighty, um, so let's keep this going. So we've opened the teleporter, which is definitely worth. We have to come back here later on when we get missed anyways. The, um, or if we want more mana prisms, because we got those sweet bad boys. Oh, I get the mouse off. And yeah, away we go. So I guess I, I don't have a lot to say about the next areas coming up. Because, other than the fact that I'm not going to go back down for skill of wolf. Oh, yoink. Like, um, most of this stuff is standard. The only cool thing I'll talk about here, um, which is just a slight positioning thing that saves a little bit of time, especially if you're going with, um, gravity jumps and you have wolf, is, um, you see how, like, there's these two windows here? If you're in between these two windows and you gravity jump, you're in the best spot to make this jump. Like, literally, you can't be any closer. So it's, it's, it's cool to line yourself up like that, especially if you're jumping with wolf, because you don't get to... When you jump with wolf, you lose your your um, your air state that lets you move back and forth, like in the air, like that. 
So every time you do this, you're not going to bonk on like the side here. And um, it, it, sa it could save you a bit of time. You could go further out as well too, but um, I just find like, especially like with, um, like I can just comfortably just hold right and, and get onto this platform. Otherwise, yeah, I'll grab this. Like holy symbol's kind of cool because it's going to save us from drowning later on. But otherwise, do a couple of these jumps. We can grab these items here because they're practically free. But like, if my game state was like a little bit better, I probably would just leave them. Like, but right now, we could use more stuff. Look at all these fancy gems and stuff we're getting. So yeah, not much more to say there. Like everyone like probably just does it the same way. The um, I don't think there's there's much additional value there other than me not jumping there and getting hit by a, a fucking knife. Oh, this is actually cool. So in this room here, the um, the way I do it is I line up my first um, gravity jump with this, do two of them, do a third one, and then like you're right here, the um, and you avoid most of the harpies. So you can do it fairly consistently just by um, walking into the room, double jumping up to here, and then up, up, and then like over. And I didn't make the jump completely there, but um, you do that room real quick that way. Check that just in case it's a library card, but... Yeah, it's pretty cool, and especially like, if you think about it, right? Like right now, I don't have armor on, right? Like I am in danger in that room. Actually, hold on, I'm, I'm in danger a bit right now. Actually, I'll just kill these guys. All right. Anyway, so yeah, like it, it's like you avoid the harpies. They can hit pretty hard. Like I've only got 51 life, so I think I can only take like, like maybe three of those like knives, and then I die, right? So if you got the uh, if you have that movement option, it's great. If not, just you know do as you do. From here, I love doing the standing um, jump because you can just like go like that, and if you can pull off the the front slide, which I clearly can't at that moment, like you just slide right in. But um, I think like I was trying it before. If you just like double jump like this, like you hit the you hit the ceiling, and then you use your double jump so you can't like make it the whole distance without doing another gravity jump. But that's just like minor time safe stuff. Doesn't really matter. Oh, hello. Yoink! I like me some library card. Right now I'm just trying to see like, okay, elixir. So like, if we think about our game state now, I've got two elixirs, I have a million mana prisms. I'm really not looking for consumables anymore. The, um, like we've got enough of them. Like, unless it says library card, like we don't really care about anything that's consumable. The, um, and even like if we got duplicator, I've got block of knives, like those things are amazing. Like we can just go, go, go. And like, we'll just like come across things as like their drops and stuff like that. So I'm not gonna go my way to get those things. This is like the only boss where you can't do like the um the whatchamacallit. The the trick with the um like you stay you you enter the boss room, stand on the side, and then walk into him doing the um the Tetra Spirit. Because like you you're kind of just like forced to walk in it and you you start as AI. And the room doesn't scroll, so like you you're so close to him anyways. So that trick doesn't really work there. But you did see what I did there. It was kind of semi on purpose, but like Sometimes you don't want to like like combo him up top here. Like it's easier. Like let him just do his thing. I I have so we've got Vorpal. I'm just gonna slash the shit out of this guy. Or even sometimes with punching. Like let him jump. Like like start the um the cheese on this boss by like, punching him up to here. He then drops to the ground. Let him do it, and then just wail on him down here. Right. You'll probably still combo him so he doesn't attack. But like you can double hit him and like just keep fisting him on the ground. But this boss isn't really a big deal anyway. So. We, we don't really worry about him. So this is also going to be pretty standard, but I'm also going to do something that like people like may have opinions on. The um, I'm not going to go and do the um, the item checks above <laughs> the ground fisting. <laughs> I'm not going to go and do the um, the checks over to um, the throne room, because if we think about our game state right now, we're doing really good. We have weapons that are going to deal with any threat in the first castle and arguably deal with a lot of threats in the second castle. We don't really have armor, so that sucks, but we can probably find it along the way. Armor is fairly common. I say that as like birds start hitting me here. The, um, like nothing up there is gonna like really change my game right now, except maybe for the armor. <laughs> Thank God Duke said it for me, nice. I actually need to be a bit careful now, but the, um, let's get some of these birds out of the way. Check this first. Nothing. Tolkus. And there should be bird here. He dies. Check this. 
oh, we need that. Okay, that's cool. So the only thing I really have to say about this area here um, is that you see this, the crumbled statue is where you want to line yourself up to, to be able to check up here. It's perfect every time. The, um, you can stand a bit to the, um, the right of it just to give yourself a bit more wiggle room. But, um, I always use that to just kind of like line myself with like, where is like this opening? And it's always just the crumbled dude. All right. We're going to try not to die here from birds. Don't kill me, please. But yeah, so I'm just gonna leave the 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 stuff in the um the throne room behind. So like again, like like game state's fine. Like even though we don't have oh, actually we have armor, here we go. Like I didn't even need that stuff up there, and we've got stuff. Oh look at this, here we go. See? Game state is fabulous right now. We do so much damage, we've got a ton of defense, we don't need to check it. I think I when I, I was watching some people do it, it takes like 20-ish seconds to like go through and grab all those things and I'm gonna be going back there anyways like if I get back and I'm gonna go fight Richter and like I feel I'm under equipped like I'll go check it then but like for all I know I'm gonna find duplicator and like buffalo stars like as I go below and then I don't need to take the 20 second time loss right so well, we're just gonna go this is actually kind of shitty right now because um my health is atrocious right now but um so yeah we've just done all that we could go to second castle, but um, uh, we want bat eye dealers, some sort of form of movement. And there's a whole bunch of things to get down at the bottom. So we're, like in this situation, I'm just going to go and clear the bottom. And my hope is, is that I find something that I can do the spike breaker room with. Otherwise, I'll leave Grand Falloon behind. But um, other than that, like we can do a whole bunch of checks here. I might also leave behind sword card the, um, and just take that risk. The, um, and again, it is a risk. Like I recognize that, like I could totally screw my race up. But um, I want to prioritize areas I don't I, that I have a whole bunch of things in them, and specifically things I won't have to come back for. Like I'll do sword card when I can do all rocks ideally. So the um, we'll just take that gamble. Now my health kind of stinks here, but um, we've got stuff for that. So just give me a second here. So a funny thing about the AI over here. So blade and hammer are a problem. They hit like trucks and they would probably kill me here. But let's bring this guy over here. They hit like truck. Oh shit. They do hit like a truck, but unfortunately they haven't mastered the ability of walking upstairs. So he's just going to kind of just waltz there. I could just have a free soul steal. Everything's fine, right? Like, look, I've got like 85 health. No problem, right? He get hit by this hammer, no problem. But we almost health manipulated the way to 69, right? So like, the um, instead of like going up to the save room up there, I'm just gonna do that. And then the rest of this is just XC execution. Yeah, it, I actually like just by mistake. Like, there's a couple of weird AI things, but um, I think I I think I ran away from them because I had to, and then I realized like he just won't go up the stairs. And, like, I don't think Hammer will either, and I don't think he'll try to even attack you. Like, he needs to be closer before he starts swinging the hammer. And if he does, like, it's so telegraphed, you just back up and then you reset the room. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, weird AI things like that. I don't know why, like, they programmed him to do that or if it was on purpose or not. But, yeah, you can get a, a, around a couple enemies that way that they just, like, won't go and hit you. Did I do the grab boots check? Yeah, I did do that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's all good. But good call out. The biggest thing, and like it's a good thing you mentioned here, is just like occasionally just check the map, right? Because there's so many times where I, like I've lost a race because like I forgot to like check fire of bat. The um, so it's a good call out. And yeah, always go for fire of bat. Fire of bat's a really cool thing. It's a quick chat. I I really feel bad when I leave if I really fire of bat blind. And that area has like five like. Relic checks in anyway, or not relic, item checks in anyway, so like if your game state's bad, then like you've got a good opportunity to like freely pretty much make it good. Five five in one check is uh, pretty beefy. It's not exact, it's not like the um, the um, succubus check, which is like literally free, but the um, it's pretty cool. So one thing I'll do up here, so let's say we were going down here in an early um, Jewel of Open Seed, there's a save, um, there's a save room up here, and I'll do a save split here in case um, Scylla and um, the Merman statue um, location are nothing. Perfect. You can get you can get that item with just the um, the diagonal jump. I can't. I think it's the third stair here. 
but um, you can get up there. And it's an accessory, it could be useful, especially when done early. But yeah, anyway, so going back to my point, if you're here really early, make a safe state up here. And if you whiff on both the things below, you haven't really accomplished anything. So just get back here and then go to the library. Oh, I didn't, I did the, the bad jump. So I didn't jump off the ledge, so Alucard didn't have the ability to do the um, the jump. So always jump off ledges, or else you get the uh, like the wimp jump, and it's no good. You can't double jump off of it. It's gross. So yeah, this area is great. Lots of free item checks. Well, it's not literally free, but it's practically free. Okay, I'll grab that for sure. Oh, hello. It looks so nice, I can't leave it behind. I think you can also get into that with gravity boots. Maybe not from there, but... there's a. I know I've done it before. Probably not worth it, but it's doable. So I've not, I don't really have anything to say about um, about Succubus here. There's, there's nothing really funky here that I, that I think I do that anyone else wouldn't. The... Um, like, if you don't have a lot, just, like, give her the spell business. We're dual wielding, so, like, this is easy. But I do have things to say about Scylla. So, Scylla is a mess. The, um, Scylla is usually free, but, um, oh, I'll just grab this. It's not really necessary, but we can grab it. Scylla, if you can't kill Scylla right away, it is a problem. Like, the, she has very little health, so if, like, for most of us, like, and especially in the randomizer when you have equipment, like, it's no problem. But when she's a problem, like, she's a big problem. Like, you just can't get in on her. She's got the snaky snakes. She's got, like, the scythe thing she throws out. Oh, yeah, I also have something to say about this drop here. But, um, the, um, she's got, like, the orbs and stuff. Like, she's a problem. There's a way to deal with her, and I'll show it in a moment. But I'm also going to show, look at where I'm aligning Alucard's foot with the, the, um, the, um, actually, no, that was a bad example, sorry. Let me show that again. So what I was trying to say was, you can quickly get to the bottom here and like snake your way through this. The um, It takes a bit of practice, but what I found, at least that works for me, is just making sure that I align Alucard in a position that he's good to do that in. And I find if I line him up with like the first bar on the window here, then usually it's good to like just go ahead and do that. Yeah, like, yeah, you're right. Like generally speaking, you want to grab Echo. The, um... It's it's just a good it's a great thing to have the um even if you can do blind bat it's just it's your get out of jail free card and I've certainly used that myself so um like yeah like get out of any time you can get out of jail get out of jail if it's right there just grab it same with like spirit orb spirit orb's cool to have sometimes especially if like you're not sure on like weaknesses and stuff like that with the the item randomizer so we're in this room against snaky snake here this guy like takes like 120 health or something like that he's actually pretty beefy for um an early area so the um. Now, with the equipment we have, we're just going to ruin this guy. But, notice the fight hasn't started. I'm in the room. He won't spawn, right? I can, like, stand here. Oh, no, I was too close there. But, um, I think if you just drop down, you have enough space that you can, um, it's either that you have enough space that you don't start the fight and you can walk into the fight doing the Tetra Spirit, or you have enough time to, like, start the Tetra Spirit and just go nuts on him. Or I can't do this. Of course, now that I'm trying to show it off, I can't do it. But um, if you start with that at the beginning, he's dead. And like, if he's not dead from that, like you have the opportunity to swing at him. Where you lose time is that he comes at you first, and then like he goes back up into the top. And especially if you don't have any jumping things, like Tetra Spirit's just a beast there. And it's a particular beast, Basilla. So if you if you if you're going into this fight. And you can't, like, reliably, like, do 100 damage in, like, a second or two. But like, Scylla gets loose, like, and starts attacking. You're in for a rough ride. The, um, so the way I, I prevent that is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk into the water. Walking into the water is not close enough to start the fight. So I can charge up a Tetra Spirit, do the spell input, which walks Alucard forward. That puts Alucard into her range to enable her AI. So that when I use the summon spirit, the or the, the Tetra spirit, the spirits, knowing that her AI exists now, will go towards her. If I do it too soon, they, they won't attach into anything. And I've messed this up before, but like you can see here, I'm in the water, 
we can see our snakes. She's just going to chill there with Snakey Snake until like the end of time. But if we do this and then do that and then specifically jump into her, I only hit her like once with my sword. Now my sword's pretty good, but um, you, I don't think you kill her right away with Tetra Spirit if um you don't have a little bit extra intelligence but you have enough that even if you have fist you just like run up and fist her once afterwards she should be down why does your tetra spirit um input make you move forward oh because like i um i elongate the um like the press so like it's it's top four to bottom right so like you could probably do it quickly and like he doesn't walk very much but um you can elongate it and do it slowly where um, you can get a bit of extra, like, movement. And it's enough to, like, where you start the spirit, you're not engaging the AI, but when you end the spirit, you are. And then the spirit will go into her. The, um... And again, like, you could, like, you could waste, like, a good 30 seconds to a minute if you don't have, like, decent equipment and, like, her snaky snakes just start going everywhere, right? Like, you can't predict that shit. They're all over the place. So, it's a good time. And it works on a bunch of bosses. Nice. Rib's really cool. Rib's gonna give us, like, defense, so... If we didn't have armor, we're, we're definitely happier now. Like, Rib and... Rib and, like, well, Tooth is, like, a no-brainer, but Rib's good. The, um... I usually don't grab these item checks over here, unless, like, I've come in with Bat to avoid, like... The water soft lock situation. The, um... From, like, doing it too fast, but otherwise I'm just gonna keep going. Especially now, like, our game state's so lit, like, we don't really need item checks anymore. Well, like going out of our way to do it, M checks. So this is another thing. I don't. I haven't timed this out, but I don't like doing this save split here. Wait, hold on. Let me, let's flick through pretty quickly. I didn't notice any forward momentum when casting. At least, something. yeah, exactly. I, I just slow it down a bit. I don't know, um, like how many frames you have to like pull it off after you've done the charge move up. But like, I have enough to like. You get like a couple steps forward, and like in a couple boss fights, it's enough to like get you there. So um, so yeah. I, I'm not going to do this um, save split here. Like, I have to do two checks over here. Actually, it's a bit weird. So, I'll I'll do it if, um, like, in this situation. So, I'm going to combine checks, right? So, I've got to go all the way over here. If I whiff on both of these, it does really suck. But if I only have to do the one check, I kind of feel it's faster to just, like, deal with the check. And, like, like if you whiff, just walk back. Because by the time... I reload the game and then come back in and then go over here, open the the latch again and then come back. Like I feel it's slower, but I to be fair, I haven't timed it out, so I could be wrong. But um, I often don't go for that save split. All right. So that being said, and moving along, like I don't really have a lot to say in this section here because there's not really like it's just pretty standard like affair here. We don't need to move the box. Although we could. If we move the box, it's going to make it easier for us later. And, of course, I don't hold down to cancel it. So I'm an idiot there. But, yeah. These frogs suck. We can do some, like, front slides to make this a bit faster. But I'm pretty not consistent with front slides. So, like, it's... It is what it is. It's probably faster to go without them. It's great having this sword because we don't have to bend down or anything like that. But... So, again, why I love Vorpal so much. Oh, but we have a knife. I'll take a knife. Whole bean dagger, which is amazing. I usually open this up, even though I plan to come back here, and I'm not going to save split, I just open it up right away. Just makes it easier. Take a look at what's going on here. I already have one of those. Those things aren't good, so... We're just going to keep her going. That's true, yeah, like, if you, like, so in our situation right now, we don't need to worry about the waterfall jump, because we don't have it. But if we're gonna do that waterfall jump, absolutely that's worth it. Because I've made that mistake before, if not- Oh, we got a corn dog! Let's go! Fucking corn dogs! Let's go. We gotta have a fucking corn dog. The, um, at any rate, the, um, you're right, yeah, like, that- that saves split saves a lot of time, like, it's, it, like, it's doable to miss that jump, and, like, you're just in a, a mess if you don't. The further of Franks, we got it. So yeah, even... So actually here, I've got... Actually, I'm going to turn it off here. Like, I don't use this um this guy at all. Like, I think it's like... if Especially if you have both jumps here. 
waiting for the ferryman, like, you can usually, I think you can get out of, like, you can get to the other side with taking, like, 50 points of damage. I'm just gonna push. Let him sit there. He can chill. Like, just go, right? We've got a ton of health. That's true. Yeah, this is over. Yeah. The, um... So, like, what did we lose there? We lost, like, f maybe 40 health. Like, the push was worth it there. And, like, nothing up here is a threat. I would have called time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and, and so in this situation where I'm going to check both things, um, I check this one first because if it's, like, sun that gives me speed, then it makes the top part um, more bearable. And that's the longer part. But yeah, man, corn dogs are awesome. I actually discovered a place downtown. They don't call them, like, downtown in Toronto. They don't call them corn dogs, but um, they're effectively corn dogs. And they've got vegan corn dogs. And I'm not a vegan, but I don't eat meat. So like um it's like cheese and like eggs and stuff is cool to me. But that means I can have a corn dog, and when I do, I'm definitely gonna post it to the long library. Oh yeah, the fish. So hold on, that's a good call. So well, let me I'll just do it in here because I'm deal with the music. So right where we did the check before, where it was echo or um force of echo, there's a check below it. And I call that guy Big Tuna. That there's a big fish down there. He hits like a truck. Like, you can die to Big Tuna. So I usually don't do that check. I, I don't go to my way to do that check usually because, like, A, like, if I don't have the snorkel, then I'm taking a bunch of damage anyways. And, like, he's a risk. Like, you can do it for sure. But, like, to me, like, it, it, like you're slow in the water to begin with. The um, Big Tuna is a big threat. Like, I just let Big Tuna do his thing. Like, he's, he's the king of the sea. And, like, he, whatever item he has, it's his. He, he can just have it. The, um, yeah, I just I just keep her going. But it, it's, yeah, he's a risk guy. Oh, big Tuna. He'll never not be Big Tuna for me. I know he's not a Tuna PS. The, um, but I just love calling him Big Tuna. Tuna talks about calls and big tuna. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, anyways, this is standard. I, I just pogo these guys. You can um like kill the zombie and then shield dash a bit, but um I'm not a big fan. These guys also won't go up the stairs. The um no one in Dracula's castle has um mastered the 45 degree angle slope. But um So yeah. Um, so this rope, I stream with a bird, I don't want to kill the bird, but more importantly, I don't want to deal with this guy at all, right? So, like a, like a lot of things in this game, his AI is not going to do anything unless I actually go at him, right? Like, we can be friends in the castle. So, I just gravity boots jump up, double jump, gravity boots up here, spike breaker I want for sure, and then I just leave him be, like, let the guy live, right? And, like... If you don't kill the bird and then he comes at you, like, you get hit. It's just a mess, right? And I think they hit pretty hard. I don't know. Anyways, so I just do that. I just walk in the room, jump up, jump again, do a diagonal jump. You're right in there. Grab it. Let Owl Knight live. He's coming at me now, but fuck it. He's not a threat anymore. Yeah, exactly. Keep the safety distance. That's right. Rule number one, safety first. It's like Kevin McAllister talking about to get into trouble. Huh? Yeah, there's just, there's so many things that won't Argo in the game. It's nuts. The um like especially like there's some like stuff in the same castle. But, like I think you can like you can soul steal off of them, and like they like they're on screen, and even after soul stealing them, they won't like come at you. Like it's great. You can just like go to town on them until like you you like um sip their soul dry. Shout out to Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver for um, the ability to sip souls. So yeah, nothing really special up here. Like, most of the people who run the randomizer already know about this trick here. But like, you can either just shield dash into him. Oh, actually, I did a bad job there. Let me do that again. Hold on. So kill this. He'll throw over you. Just walk, right? Even be. And I think if as long as you get to the bridge and then start walking backwards, he'll start like he'll he'll have reloaded his um barrel here. And the place you want to stand is like right here. See like the how my my right or my back foot's slightly covered. If you do it there, it's enough room to get to that. You can grab these things. So you don't need to like be actually standing on the bridge. It saves like a second or so, but whatever. 
All right, so we're kind of in danger here at 54 health. Not really so much to Cerberus because our um, our Vorpal is gonna do didn't work. Oh, unfortunately, our Firebrand doesn't. But I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna um, um, what you call it? I'm not gonna switch weapons because like Vorpal's good enough. Like you can just like mash the fuck out of it. But this is another fight where like I'm staying up here. Like Doggo's not doing anything now. I can't hurt him either. Like if his AI is not activated, I think it's for bosses. If their AI is not activated, their hitbox won't be either. But um, I think I can stand down here, and how close can I get? Where is it? Like, look, I can get to here, and like, it's not even started. So I can do a little bit of this, start that up. That gives me some iframes, walk in, does some extra damage, right? Like, and I didn't need the damage at that point, but like, there, you could come down here with fists, right? The um, and like, you'd never want to not be in his face because like, actually trying to get into him is difficult, right? So, the um, a lot of bosses you can abuse that way. The only cool thing about this area is the next bottom bridge is going to break. The um, We want to jump off of it right away and do a double jump because then you can um, you can just like maintain momentum. So do this, up, another one, go to the side, and then, well, I missed it there, but you can get through that gap as long as you double jump. All right, good news is we've got Spike Breaker. Um, gas Cloud can be cool, but we're going to leave it behind. So, we can do everything at the bottom. So, we're going to fight Grand Flu and all that shit here. The, um... So, we'll make it happen. Look at these things. But, I don't know if I'm going to... Like, I'm hoping to get a library card so I don't have to come back through here. But, um... Yeah, we'll grab this. You know what? Just for fun, we're going to grab that. I don't like Fashion Souls. I almost, like, capes are... Like, look at this here. We're putting... This cape does nothing, right? But, it fucking looks cool. Actually, it looks very cool. This is an awesome cape. I just wanted to show off this room for a moment, just in case I um, I um, I library card out. So this is all Talik's idea. I saw him do this on stream once, and like this is like an insane route. If you've got gravity boots, just do a whoops. Hold on. Come to this corner here. Do this. Do this. Like you're just you're just flying through this room. Like those two gravity jumps from like the from left to right are are absolutely redonk. Like you just get onto the one platform, you just do another one, and like you're you're off to the races instead of trying to like navigate through all this stuff and like she's a problem, right? Like the um yeah, so just start your diagonal from here and do two diagonal jumps, one to the left or one to the right, one to the left. You're flying through that room. Unfortunately I don't know how to do those rooms in the second castle very well. Witches do be crazy. We don't need movement here, so I guess safe splitting here is... Oh, we got um, Enchanted Banquet, too. Here we go. I, I need to make... So, although I, I usually advocate for doing less item checks, I need to do this one more often. I almost never do this one. But, like, there's two of them here. Actually, I guess there's two rooms you gotta go through. Oh, Duplicator. Well, I'm glad I did that now. I can duplicate pork buns. Actually, I can duplicate... Hold on. We're just doing this for fun. Where is it? <laughs> oh, wait, I can't do it again. Where is the wall I can do this against? Hold on. We can also shield dash with corn dogs too. Oh, I need to go away from corn dogs. When you've got corn dogs, you just gotta feed it. Alright, enough fun. This is the one, right? Oh, no, it's just because I'm turning off duplicate. I thought I had one that did stuff. No, I guess not. All right, we'll just put, I don't know, put that on for fun. Um, yeah, so I guess I lucked out there. But um, usually I never do that check. But um, it's worth it. There's two things there. You're only going two rooms over. There are a lot of free checks down here, but whatevs. And it worked out. Luck of the draw. This is the best song in the game, and if you don't believe me, like, fight me. <laughs> but, yeah, I love this song. I think that the tournament after um, DB's tournament should be like a karaoke singing contest of this song specifically. Oh, Mana Prism, sweet. Yeah, man. I, I love the song, and I love that emote. Uh, why did I even fight that guy? I should just, like, spell through him. Whatevs. So, I said I was going to admit when I'm bad at things, I'm bad at the Grand Falloon fight. 
This guy you can just kind of like double jump off his head, but the um, I'm very bad at the Grand Flynn fight. Um, I always end up screwing it up somehow. We probably won't with the current weapons, but I'm bad at it. Like, if... Did I save it the other thing? I can't remember now. Fuck. Oh, well. We'll just walk back anyways. Fuck it. This is another guy where you can, um, charge up the, um... Whatchamacallit? The, um, Tetra Spirit before actually activating him, which is nice. Or just, like, throw Holy Waters if you got him or whatever. But, um... But yeah, I, I'm bad at that boss. I, I, I often lose him in the beginning. The um, I have to jump around. So, please find inspiration for that boss elsewhere, because I will lead you astray. Except for music choices, I'll definitely. I got you there. Just enchanted banquet for like six hours. It's all good. I was actually so I, I actually looked on YouTube if someone made an extended version of Enchanted Banquet. Unfortunately, the answer is no. But I found out that Enchanted Banquet is on Spotify, so I could create a playlist and just have it loop in continuously, which I 100% intend to do one day. Oh man, this role play unfortunately isn't the greatest, but it still slaps enough. Um, you got to spell through. Oh shit! Of course, I fuck it up. Come on, do the input. Oh, now of course no. I can't do anything. Well, I, I don't have to charge that. Sorry, I keep, I'm, I'm trying to do the teleport, and for some reason I'm trying to charge it. There we go. You can't do the head bang thing on him, unfortunately. And I don't grab the items above that guy. Like, our game state's amazing. We've got library cards. The, um, it's just not necessary. Same thing with that guy. You can just, like, spell through him. Otherwise, he can be a bit of a tank. Um, so we're going to have it easy here. You don't need Spike Breaker. Or, yeah, you don't need Spike Breaker to do this. Or you're not supposed to, but we can do it anyways. So I'll take that freebie any day. I'm always happy to get Spike Breaker. I don't think I'm wearing it, but so we'll, we'll menu to make sure it's good. Oh, it's actually... No, it's a bit worse, but whatever. We don't care. Four points of defense isn't going to make or break anything. And I definitely don't need to show off the blind bat thing, because I don't have bat, and there's so many guides out there. If you want to, like, there's so many more tricks and shit out there. The, um, if you're watching this, just watch, go to DB's channel, he's got a ton of them. I don't know where he had Enchanted Banquet on his, um, music tier list, but if it wasn't SSS five times S triple tier, it's not enough. Tell that to the Guardian. Oh, here we go. So, Soul Volt. So, this is a perfect example. We didn't do All Rocks before, and we waited. And now we only need to go to All Rocks Quarters once. And if we find Mist there, then we can do the third one as well. So, we'll just do it all at once. Unfortunately, I, I skipped on Skill of Wolf, which wouldn't have helped us too much. But, um, no Power of Wolf. C'est dommage. Yeah, Fatih, how you doing, man? We're just talking about rando strategy and stuff. Just trying to give folks some insights going into the tourney. I'm not the best person to do that, but I'll give it a go. The Beard Gang, actually, ASD, you gotta keep that camera on the go, ASD. That was so good. And it was so perfectly aligned on the window. Like, you had, like, the chaos um, exclamation point in the top left, the beard in the bottom right. 11 out of 10 wood beard again. So yeah, now it's just, we're going to go to fight Uncle All Rocks and do that thing. So most of what I would have to say about the rando is like pretty much like over. I don't even know if I'll, I'll beat this whole seed depending on the timing. Do this trick again. It's pretty sweet. You have a transformation, you just loop across that thing, but whatevs. We don't have missed in that state of but Yeah, so like I said, most of the things I've said, like, it mostly applies to the early game. Other than, like, like in Second Castle, just, like, go right first. And if you have the, if you're able to take library cards at, um, at whatchamacallit, at, uh, Beazelbub, if you're going to go back to the first castle, it's a good place to go. 
Actually, I guess I do have one opinion about the second castle, which is, um, like, if you get a relic at, um, like, this is more applicable, I guess, to safe, but if you get a relic at, um, at Medusa that gives you first castle progression, even if it's a lot, like, just go and fight Achmedon first and open up the teleporter. You've got to go that way anyways. The teleporter is never not going to be useful. So just, like, go the whole way instead of having to, like, double back in the Medusa room. And then if you've got the library card, just go all the way to... Ooh, um, to bees beat him and then teleport out of there. P.S. My wolf sucks. Get up there, wolf. So yeah, I don't think I have a lot to say about this fight here, and except for like the whole poise thing. If you've got to fight this guy early, like I think I I I beat um the second form once with like some stupid like a, a magic missile where like I was just getting beat up by the fire, and um yeah, just like anything you've got, like just throw it at him. With a big sweeping weapon like this, obviously you go for the head because it does more damage, but his hands also have hitboxes and stuff. Although, ironically, even though I cut his hands off, they're back for the death animation, so, like, Orox is quite the magician. But whatevs. So we're gonna about to see if our gamble paid off. We didn't go to, um, to Sword Card earlier. His limbs regrow- I, actually, maybe that's it, yeah, he's like a, like, some, like, frogs do that, and he kind of looks like a frog, right? Like... Yeah, Uncle Rawlox, he's a guy. The, um, so if sword card is bat, then like we made bad decisions. We, even though we have to double back, we should have still like went here first, but that's the rando for you. Noth nothing's ever going to be perfect. You just take the calculated risks that you feel you're comfortable with. And if you don't take any risks, then like it's probably a slow time. Okay, so this is good, even though I didn't want that. Oh, it's fairy card though. And I do have a life apple, so we could do the Diagon thing. And here's the thing. I don't need to go and open up that um, shortcut now, because we opened it up in the Coliseum earlier. And I think that's the better shortcut, and I don't need to go through the loading zone transition. So, like, we just leave it alone. But speaking about the second castle, the time has come. Unfortunately, there's nothing else we can do here. We may have... Actually, there's a good chance we have to come back, but we've got three Vlads, so maybe not. So, I'm still trying to figure out the, the casual meta, but, um, there's a good chance that, like, we could just, just full clear a second castle. That was certainly true in the last seat I, I ran offline. And I think this is fat. I'm pretty sure this is a faster way to get back. I don't think we want to go and fight, like, Hippogriff and stuff like that. The, um, even though we need to go through all the teleporter cycles, just go back here to get to the thing. The, um, like, we'll destroy Hippogriff, but, like, you gotta go through, like, the cutscenes and stuff. It's not fun. Round and round the castle we go, where we stop, everyone knows. Here we go. So we didn't get the, um, we didn't check, um, whatchamacallit, the items in the throne room. And we're not going to do that now. We've got library cards. We've got mana prisms. We have a duplicator that we got off chance. So, like, we're just going to let that chill. It's not worth the time. It's not going to improve our game state significantly. The, um... I don't think any of this matters, does it? Oh, it gets stronger than bloody. That might be worth. Actually, it definitely is worth because it double hits and it doesn't have a, um... A, whatchamacallit. A, um... An element. So, yeah. So... We can equip these things. Actually, I'll probably just keep Spike Breaker on. I don't think any of this matters. So I'm not using the duplicator right now because, like, we don't really need it, right? Like, the, um, it, like, I could be throwing Buffalo Star, sure, but, like, we're doing enough damage as it is, right? And it's just going to bring our defense down. The, um, there's not really any need to, to duplicate items right now. I didn't even look at, like, what I have except for the block and knife, which wasn't really that great. The, um, so for the Richter fight, it's not really applicable now, but, like, I guess I only have one thing to say about the Richter fight. Um, so like a lot of people know like the, the quick way to, to kill the orb is just to do a summon spirit and then to do a soul steal. And it, it kind of makes me a bit uncomfortable only because the, um, 
I suck at doing soul steal, so like it's my problem. If you're great at doing soul steals, keep doing it. You're you're way better than me because I I fuck it up all the time. And the other thing that bothers me about it is that soul steal takes a lot of mana, so it's not a really a big deal right now. But what I tend to do in this fight is instead of doing the two spells, I just do Tetra Spirit, and then it does enough hits that if I double jump with a sword that double hits and I do that twice, you kill him in like the same amount of time and you've used less mana and I'm I'm not having the fear of screwing up the soul steal. So that works a lot for me. And if you have bat, then you have more mana to get through with the rest of the, um to the next point that you would need it, especially if it's early and your mana pool isn't that big. So um, that's really all I have to say about it. The um, obviously with Crystal Grim, just jump into it and do it. The um, I'm dual wielding now, so that my my um, strategy around the Tetra Spirit's gonna work fine. But as long as you double hit with your sword, you'll get enough hits on the orb to um, to break it. So yeah, just this here. Oh, does this not double hit right now? Actually, I thought this sword double hit. Anyways, I'll just do it, finish it up with that. I should just get the fire sword on. Yeah, hey MT, how you doing? No, I'm I'm um I'm just spitballing for the most part right now. The um, we're just doing a little tutorial stuff, so I really should just turn the, the timer off, but um it's there. Yeah man, we're just talking about like rando strategy and shit like that. I've always wanted to do a video like this. I'm definitely not the best person to be giving people advice, but um other people who are better than me haven't done it yet, so I'll throw my hat in the ring and um and hopefully someone else does a better job because that's really what I want. Like I just want people to be able to comfortably like do the randomizer and, and have fun with it really. Cause I, I sure as hell love this thing. The more people we've got doing it, the better. And that's why I love D how like DB is doing a tournament on this too, um, which will hopefully get more people involved and stuff like that. So same thing as before, like our game state is huge right now. Like there's no reason for the things down here. It's cheating. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Guys, I beat the game in, in like, 10 minutes or 10 seconds in the past don't tell anyone the um i i i generally don't like doing these whoops these checks down here anyways because it takes time and it takes more time than you would have done on the other side and like you're probably in a good place so it's it's not necessary like unless like you're really hurting for stuff like you should just keep going there have been times i've done it because i've had to go with the second castle early and i have been like hurting like my defense is five my offense is like 30 like Oh, I like that's just a bad time, right? But right now we're having a good time, and I butchered that movement, but whatevs. This guy's gonna be free, but whatevs. The only thing I have to say about this boss, we're gonna murder him, but maybe I'll just show it. Is um, you have enough. So like when he starts, he's not vulnerable. So you have enough time to pull off a Tetra Spirit before like he's vulnerable and like hit him a bit. But more importantly, like, if he gets away from you and he gets up into the top of the screen and he starts doing his wing attack, if you stand to the farthest side and don't jump, the wind won't hit you. And you, so from there, you can do another Tetra Spirit and, like, he doesn't have that much health, so you can often just kill him. I'll try to showcase that here. I'll hit him a couple times and then we'll make that happen. So we can just do this. Enough time before he's actually vulnerable. Do that. Hopefully he doesn't die. He gets up here, he's gonna maybe do his wing attack. Come on. Yeah, so he's gonna do the wind. He can't hurt me right now, but I can hurt him with this. And there we go. So like if you come here with like little like equipment and stuff, it's a good way to like consistently do that fight and um, not worry about it. Or like not worry about getting like thrown around and stuff. Cause I think he can hit pretty hard if he gets here. Oh, sweet bat. So we should have came here a lot earlier, but whatevs. Yeah, man, Fatih, run some seeds and get in on the tournament, man. It should be a blast. I love how it's especially just like an open bracket for three weeks. Like, everyone can get in as many games as they want. Like, it's just a good time. I don't need to open the teleporter because we have unlimited library cards, but um, but yeah. So it's all good. The only thing about this room is just duck under them if you don't have um, movement or you don't have heart that gives you the immunity there. Um, and yeah, so I, I like I said, I don't have a huge amount to say about the second castle. The, um... Oh wait, I have bat. Hold on. No, I have things to say right now. Um, I forgot. I have um, mana prism somewhere. We spent all of our precious money on mana prisms, and we'll take the duplicator risk. We don't have any armor anymore, but what else? I'm sure it's fine. So it's a bit of a risk. But yeah. So you can do this. The um, 
the walk into the boss strat here. So like you see I'm standing here. Medusa is not activated. I, I can cast a spell. It won't do anything though. It's not going to hit her. She's invulnerable. But I could do... Oh, I walked too far. But like, you could do that and then get in on her. Oh, I, I fucked it up. Yeah, especially, again, you don't have a lot of offense at this point, then just buffer in a, um, or just, you, or just enter the fight using a, um, a, um, a Tetra Spirit, and you're fine. So it looked like when I walked anything beyond this, it was a problem, but that means I can just go forward like that, and then that's gonna get the AI going, give me some iframes to get in. The, um, uh, it didn't really work for me with the iframes there, because I had already activated her AI, so there was a bit of a delay, but, um... Yeah, it works. It just gets you in there, especially if you don't have a lot of um, offense to start with. Yeah, otherwise, we're just literally, like, clearing this shit out. Like, the only real question is, like, when do we go back, or if we go back to First Castle? And I don't really have a good meta for that at this point. The, um, like, with casual, it's so, like, up in the air. Oh, actually, I have something to say about right here. So this area can be, um... So first of all, I, ne I never do these item checks down there. Like, I'd have to be really desperate for that. I think I actually saw... I think Black Fox, you, you did this, and I, I picked up on it. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, these guys hit like a truck. But um, if you just have um, Leap Stone and Gravity Boots, the opening at the top there is actually really tough to get into. But it's really easy if you just go here, do the diagonal jump, and then jump into it. You get into it, like, every single time. I'm in a little bit of danger right now, going into um, Akhmadon, because we have no defense. But um, luckily we got range. Um, I think the stop box works against him a little bit to stop his uh, gas coming out, so we'll probably do that. But um, otherwise, if you get caught in his like grab move, he's going to Zangief you. Just like what I was talking about before, like just have poise. Pause the game. Like in this case, take off the duplicator put on better armor, you can do that all while he's grabbing you, and they can 100% save your life. Like, even with the, um, if you've got poison, like, you might be able to arc out enough of it. So I th think this works? Yeah. Slow down his gas a little bit, kill him, so that stopwatch was pretty cool. It may have been dumb because, like, I'm probably not getting enough hearts to use this against Doppelganger, but whatevs. Unfortunately, the, um, the summon spirit thing doesn't work here, but like the based on how this fight works, it's not really relevant anyways. Ew, we're not getting any of the Vlads. And like with most things, if you're wondering about like the um whatchamacallit. Bat movement and stuff, there's there's guides from talented people beyond me, so I'd go recommend those. Actually I don't need that, what am I doing? So definitely don't need to fill up. Whoops. Oh yeah, I got Spike Breaker. Yeah, I shouldn't even be doing that. I shouldn't... There's no reason for me to check items anymore. The My weapons are serviceable enough. We've got a duplicator. We've got mana prisms. Like, literally, it's just go now. Like, from like the thing I showed at the beginning. Right now... All we want to do is be that Formula 1 driver. We're just fucking flying to Dracula. There's no reason to do anything else. Oops. Oh, yeah. I got to make sure I'm actually in the game. Unfortunately, I can't get background inputs to work no matter what I seem to do. And it's not a big deal anyway. So I just got to make sure I get the window open. Oh, this room, though. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's stuff. So this is this is all cryo. This is his deal. This room, you are in danger. Like, even, like, well, especially right now. Like, we don't have any defense. We are 100% in danger. Now, obviously, with that movement, no problem. But you could drop a wing smash. Here's, like, the easiest thing in the world. Just have the wolf here. Whoops, no, no, not yet. Run forward and just hold right. Literally, we're playing Sonic the Hedgehog. Just run. Everyone gets out of your fucking way. It's great. If you're here early, like, you 100% are way safer. And that's, that's all cryo. The, um, you don't need um, Power of Wolf or anything like that. Yeah, it's it's sick, because like, the amount of times I've, like, I've done dumb things and died in that room. I actually messed up my PB. 
Um, or I would have had a PB in um, safe, but I died in that room. It was so dumb. So think of it before. If these guys are a problem, you can summon spirit into them. They won't activate until you get close enough. So yeah, this fight. This fight's a... Uh, this fight is not always fun. Um, trio. Um, you can stun lock either. Um, you can stun lock Grant pretty easily, especially with um, doing a, a good time Tetra Spirit and just hitting on him a bit. Especially with Vorpal, like it's no problem. And you can kind of do the same to Sypha as well, though it's a bit harder to hold on. And Sypha's the bigger problem. So if I don't think I can hold a lock on these guys, I'll just go after Grant to start. But um, if I think I can, I'm going to go after Sypha. Yeah, and th this fight's absolutely a threat. Like, right now, I should take the duplicator off. Like, this is a problem. Stops rolling. Give the spell. Nice. Didn't really, like, hold her in place that much, but got her so that she didn't, um... really fly off too high, so we could hit her at ground level. With Grant, if you... you can, like, hit him into Trevor, and, um... And they, like, you can hit them both at the same time. You usually kill uh, Grant. Trevor is a bit of a nightmare. He's got a lot of health. Alright, so... This route. So we're going to go to um, Beazelbub. And we're going to go this way. The um, Make sure you have Jewel of Open. Because I don't know how many times I've, um, I've gone this way and not had Jewel of Open. And then I get to the door and I'm like, oh shit, I can't go this way. And that's a problem. Um... You don't need Bat to do it, but it's about the same amount of... If, if you don't have Bat, but and there's something there, then like you save time. If you don't have Bat, you go there and there's nothing there, then you might as well have gone left and then done the normal save split. But um, but generally, I like going this way. It's a bit of risk-reward. The, um, the imps are definitely a problem, but um, if you're in the shop and have a ton of money, buy Neutron Bombs or something, right? A, they're good to have in, in a pinch anyways. You can dual wield with them if you don't have a dual wielding sword the, um, for Dracula. Or like anything like Power of Sire, insert thing here. And like you just get out of bad situations if, um, if, if something becomes a problem, especially this room. Now the problem going this way is we are 100% in danger right now. You need to tell yourself when you come over here that you're in fucking danger. This guy with the Halberd is going to fuck us up. So, even though I have Bat, or like, so I have Bat here, right? I'm going to leave this room. I'm going to go to Bat. I'm only going to do one Wing Smash. I'm going to make sure I stop before here. I, you cannot afford to flub the second Wing Smash and then, like, get into that guy's Halberd. Like, you are seriously going to fucking die. So, I'm just going to start it up here, and then you need both of them. But if I miss the second one, like I did there... He's pushing me outside. I took 65 damage, but no big deal. If you need to fight them, you can hit them with the um, the Tetra Spirit, um, and it will hit them even if they're not advancing on you. So if you need to do that. But if you have to go to that length, then you probably don't want to go this way anyways. But yeah, like I don't have too much to say about this route other than like I think it's faster, especially with Bat. I usually try to, um, I couldn't stop myself with this is what I want to do. I usually try to make sure I start my wing smash here so I'm not like, like I, I'm starting the room well, but otherwise we're just gonna hope and go up the, um, the side here. I fucked it up. Come on, recover, we did. I like looking at my um, my mana bar when doing this because I can tell if I've, um, oh shit. Yeah, this is gonna become a bit of a nightmare now. So I'm just gonna double jump off these things and there we go. Oh wait, hold on. No, no, no. See, we gotta realize we're in danger here. If I am gonna fight this guy with Duplicator on, there's no way in hell I can't not refill our health. Like, we're... Beazelbub's a problem. In all honesty, I'd probably just fight this guy with, um... I'd take Duplicator off and just go nuts with the other weapons I have, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Because you don't want to take... Like, if you've got zero defense and you get poisoned, like, good luck. You're just dead. I think Cryo was saying that like you can take up to double damage if your defense is zero and you get a um and you get um like some sort of status ailment on you. So we definitely wanna like put a pause on this and like say, okay, like we're in danger, how are we gonna deal with this? The um all that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna double wield here, take anything. I guess it doesn't matter which one, they all do the same. Doesn't matter, just anything other than that. 
I might have something that gives me a um, something to duplicate, but who knows? I know this is going to work. We can either do this method where we like chop down his legs, or the black fox method where we keep his legs and just whip on his head, because then he he um. Why can't I double jump? He um. That's weird. I don't know if I'm not just hitting the button or whatever, but there we go. So the more body parts you hit off, the more flies he attracts. So it can be easier to just go right for the chest and leave the legs. Or if you're more confident, just like hit the legs first to deal some damage so you don't have to hit them up top as much. Oh, hello. So that might be important, but um, shit. Who knows? So I'm definitely not going to go back for the rings. Especially because like we've got more than one um, thing we got to do, or more than one flat relic to get anyway. So like just getting that alone isn't going to help unless it's like missed and it leads to there too. Oh shit, missed that jump. And that one. Fuck. Alright, here we go. Alrighty, um... So I kind of want to um, re-equip my mana prisms and stuff, but I kind of also want to just get by the guardians first, because we're absolutely in danger there too. So I'm going to like stop my movement there and restart it and then just do one wing smash to get through both of them just to make sure because yeah like we don't want to die that's a problem yeah, there we go perfect obviously these guys are a threat too but i don't know i i don't think that they're a big deal with bat so i'm not gonna like give them the same respect as I do with the other guys. Oh yeah, also, so we've got duplicators, we've got mana prism somewhere. I'm I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not gonna do the manly split. By the time you go up there and stuff like that, like it probably saves time, but I'm just gonna like bet that this is something. If I have, like, just Wolf or something, I won't do it. Like, I haven't time to do it, but, um... I don't know, I, I'm just a fan. If I have some, like, good form of movement, I'll just go for this. Oh, that looked interesting. But I really shouldn't stop checking. I mean, they could be Vardas, but, like, it doesn't matter. I probably should have dual-wielded for this or something, but we're fine. All right. Just because I had enough leg reach. All right, what do we got here? Oh, boo! Oh, well, what well, whatevs. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, I got the bat! Let's go! Let's go! Let's fucking go! All right, I wish that was on purpose. All right, so unfortunately, didn't hit here, but say to love you. Quoting the penguin? Does he say that? Does the penguin say say Levy or something else? Yeah, bad little car. I've got the bat, let's go! <laughs> that does sound like the penguin. Alucard's just messing up with the citizens of Gotham here. Whoops. Oh boy. Alright, yep. And just let him do his thing. Alright, there we go. We al we're alive. Um, yeah, so like... In terms of like what we're planning to do right now, like... The, um... I really don't want to go back for, um just the the rings if i don't have to so right now we're pretty much in a point where like i want to get to death and i want to open that teleporter ideally or because i've got library card maybe it's just worth it just to go to galamoth and then you don't need to worry about the teleporter at all 
Oh, I don't even think I saved there. Oh well. I'm just gonna do this. So if you want to wing smash like a madman, um, which I can't, although this is going really well right now, the um, Talok's got tools and stuff that help with it. I haven't used them myself yet, but if you want, um, I'd highly recommend them. Oh, Merman statue, perfect. But I didn't go back for the rings early. So I do need to keep an eye on the time. I'm supposed to be picking up my car and they close at six. And um, I definitely need it for tomorrow. So, they better call me back soon, and if they call, I gotta bounce right away. But like I said, like most of the stuff, the good stuff was in the beginning of this video. Well, you know, what? I actually want to talk about one thing here. The um, so this room, at least the first go you go through it, like the the problem with this room obviously is the Venus weeds, right? Like they all screw you up. But like it's literally free with a shield dash. Like just shield dash through these guys, it's fine. They like, hit you the right way, like we're good, right? The um. Or if you got like power wolf, you're fine too. But like, because of how long it takes them to spawn, just like shield dash through them. You don't need to worry about fighting them. Um, unfortunately, I don't have enough hearts, so we're just gonna kill this guy the old-fashioned way here. There are better people who can do this fight better, um, or like they just jump right in front of him and like he gets messed up every time. I just do this because it's consistent. If I jump away from him, he'll jump into me. I just jump into him. I hit him. Uh, you, do, you don't even need to have the range of the Vorpal. Like, this is just... We're going about it. There we go. Riveting gameplay. Ugh. Hoping for sun here. Really love Blood Relic. Oh, miss. Sweet. So, yeah, really glad we didn't go back for the other things. I still kind of don't want to go back right now, though. Like, everything. Like, doing the death check right now is, like, is pretty free. And even, like, Gallimoth, right? Like, to come back to Gallimoth, the, um. I don't think that. There we go. Like, it's awkward, like, right? So, and again, like, the meta really hasn't been determined yet for casual, like, consistently. But I think in the case here, where I have a library card, I'll just go fight Gallimoth, and then whatever the result is, I'll just library card out. So we're not, like, doing extra save splits. Don't need to open the teleporter. And especially right now, like, again, game state, right? Like, like we're hitting, like, a truck. Gallimoth's not going to be a problem. Well, I guess not truck, but we're hitting pretty hard. Unfortunately, no um, abuse of Tetra Spear here because there's a cutscene. So I don't have too much to say about the death fight. Just don't get hit by the scythes after he dies, because that'd be tragic. Yeah, so when they drop there, they can kill you. Don't die. <laughs> Boo. Okay. Well, we're gonna go fight Galmoth. The um, he just he's so out of the way. Fuck. Fuck. I also suck at these jumps. If you just use the bat to turn gravity into um horizontal momentum, you're fine. But clearly, I wasn't making that happen. There's definitely better ways to get through that room. I need to learn them. Yeah, those falling sights hurt. They don't mess around. You're absolutely right. And I've been really... I, I haven't died to them before, but I've been close to dying to them before. <laughs> yeah, like, if he gets those balls off, yeah, they can become a problem.
Um, so I love dual wielding, but like dual wielding with the Vorpal, depending on like how strong the Vorpal is, is kind of silly. The um because you can just hit the Vorpal as fast as you can, right? But in particular for this fight, I almost never dual wield, even though I love dual wielding as a concept. Mainly because like your the biggest threat in this thing is like having your sorry, like your hands getting tired, right? And that happens to me. Like I've I've lost um Gallimoth trying to like dual wield and kill him quickly. Like it's better to just take the time and just hit him singly, especially with Vorpal, because like you can hit it as fast as you need to anyways. Or like if we really want to, we can say, okay, like what do we got here from a um like a throwable perspective, right? Because we've got the thing now. Oh, luckily we have 120 here, so let's just the um oh, we'll just get rid of we'll do this here. We'll just go with that, and then our our permanent setup now can just be this. If I can find my prisms again, and we've already got duplicator on, so this is fine. Hooray! Whoops, I did that early. Okay, we're still good. Yeah, so like, doing this here, no problem. Trying to hit two buttons at the same time, even though it's technically faster, like, my hand gets tired, I screw it up, like, it's too much pressure. I'll just do it this way, just the, the biggest fear is just losing this guy. You'll die soon enough, and actually we murdered him pretty quickly there, it's perfect. Yeah, like, if you're ever in a situation where, like, Vorpal's doing, like, 80 to 100 damage, even, like, focusing on two buttons at the same time really isn't worth it at that point, because you could just focus on one and two. Oh, sweet! Look at this! <laughs> That's why we stay, friends. Alrighty, that worked out for me. I just probably got lucky, but whatever. Whoops, get out of this. That was some luck, but that's this, that's the deal with casual. Like, we could have fought death, opened the teleporter, and library carded out, and been better, or you do this. It's just the luck of the draw. So, we're not going to go in the store. We are fucking lit right now. Ah, oh, shit. Now I'm fucking everything up. Um, is this a fight you can do the thing on? I can't remember. Yeah, so you don't start the boss fight um, when you enter, so you can do a little bit of this. Oops, nope, not close enough. There we go, halfway in that book. I mean, I murdered him anyways, but if you're low on damage there again, you can just get that off. Hopefully make it so he doesn't go through his um, cycle of summoning dudes and being invincible, because that's annoying as fuck. Ew, keep with Zoe, gross. Actually, I've got library cards. Let's just get the fuck out of here. What's this here? Oh, maybe I should talk about this. So, like, uh, silly, just walk right by it. Because mana prisms have 22, I can put them anywhere and they'll stay there. The um, So I'm just going to keep them there. The way I try to, like, there is a there is a sort function for the menu, but I don't often use it. I find um, just remembering, like, how long ago I got something works for me to generally find it. And what I'll do is, if I get something that's useful for only, like, Dracula, I'll put, I'll immediately menu for it. And I'll put it at the bottom of my menu, so I know where it is at the end. So, like, if I have an attack potion, and I know I want to use it against Dracula, I know where it is. So, like, I'm not spending a bunch of time in the menu against Dracula being, oh, where the hell is this thing, right? And, like, I know you can sort things, but I don't know. I just find I, I lose more things when I sort things than when I get it. But it's probably up to personal preference what it works best. All right, now where the hell are we going here? Um, man, this kind of sucks. Um, I guess in this case, I'm going to go and do what? I really wish I did a safe split in the library, son. So this is actually, I'm not sure what I want to do, like, ideally here. The, um, like, rings into Merman is just screaming for it. Actually, you know what? I opened the shortcut, so I think I do silver ring into 
into holy glasses into merman because then you're kind of just like doing it in one sweep and not like backtracking i don't know if that's the fastest or not but um that's what we're gonna do and we're still leaving skill behind sorry skill the only thing that sucks about this actually maybe i should do the opposite well all these all three of these checks suck the um all of them take a long time like, this doesn't take a, too long of a time to get to, but, like, we got to fight Hippogriff. We haven't fought them yet, so, like, kind of stinks that we got to do it. I'm definitely not checking the items above the towers right now, but if you are going to check them, you want to check the first tower and the third tower and never the second one, because the second one only has one item. The first one we encountered here has two, and the other, the farthest one has three, or vice versa, if it's the other way around. Don't have to wait because we beat Minotaur and Werewolf, but, um, like, you're. It just sucks to go up or, like, climb up there and take the five seconds to go do a check and then find out there's nothing there where you can get more value out of the other two checks. I th think I don't have Spike Breaker on right now. Dude, get out of here, bats. Oh, I do have Spike Breaker on. Okay, well, I'll just make it a bit faster. There's a whole bunch of strategies for getting through this room and stuff that folks have gone over. Just using iframes at the door is very cool. Oh, uh, boo, we didn't get anything. We almost beat Maria out the door, though, so that was pretty cool. But, um, or, like, I think ASD, I think you did a quick video showing, like, the, um, using, like, power of wolf and skill to get enough iframes to get through that. So there's guides that exist. Or if I actually upload this to YouTube, if you have any questions about things, like, just ask me. I'll, I won't have all the answers, but I'll, I'll drive you to the right place. But yeah, that was so cool, that wolf thing. I remember I did the, um... Oh, you've got a whole place around attack? Okay, well, fuck this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing then. Google ASD and um, find him because he is a beast. Skill gear. Oh, it's for pursuit. Well, either way, it's still good. Alrighty. So, we're just getting, We're just really on clamp mode now. Hope this goes quickly, because I legit have to go pick up my car. Hopefully they're done for today. Google ASD if you want to see sexy keyboard. Or sexy beard, oh, okay. Absolutely. He's got the sexiest of beards. Um... Where did you go? I right, unequip those things so I don't forget about you. One of you do ten, perfect. All right, well, I always do this during the clock thing. Cheers, everyone! Thank you for coming along for the ride. I appreciate it. But yeah, so we're just gonna clean this up and then. And beat the game. And, um, yeah, I, I guess that's, I, I've pretty much said all I've got to say. I'll do, like, a little recap on, like, my three important things at the end, but the, um, or I guess I can do that right now, but the, um, like, limit item checks depending on your game state. Oh, this is nothing. Boo. Say homage. Come on. Get, what happened to my gravity boots? Here we go. I know I turned off the um, holy symbol, but I'm pretty sure I kept those on. Oh, thanks, ASD. <laughs> go. But yeah, anyway, so what I was getting at was just like, if you pay attention to your game state and do item checks based on that and what you actually need, 
and avoid unnecessary menuing all the time, you'll be fine the, um, and save time. If you um, try to prioritize checks that are grouped together that you don't have to um, to um, revisit later on, like you have all the, um, the locks, so to say, like we did with Sword Card this time, then you're probably going to do fine. And just always, always, always have poise. Always just make sure that the um, if you get into a bad situation, you press start, you figure it out, and then you just overcome whatever's in front of you. The um, and then you'll probably do fine. Go check these things because they're literally free. Also, there's some bats at the end of this. They're on the other side of the um, of a wall. Um, don't kill them until the wall's open, because I think, um, I remember watching Diagon one time, and I think he had it where um, one of them dropped, it was luminous, but it looked like Moblong, and it was stuck on the other side of this pillar. So we're gonna wait until this guy comes over and then kill him. Whoops, or maybe not, he gets to live. But like, don't let him drop an item on the other side of that wall and have it disappear, because item drops definitely disappear from enemies. Here we go. We got Dad's Eye here. Um, I don't know if it's faster to... Well, I, I'm assuming it's faster to library card. Because we have mana prison at the bottom, we'll just do that. Alright, so now that we're like going to Dracula, it's just like thinking like ahead of time, like what do we want to do for Dracula, right? So, um, like, do we want to, um, do we want a menu for anything? And in this case, probably yes, because the Mana Prism, although it's been really good for us, it's not really, um, going to serve us as well in the Dracula fight, unless we really need iframes. Like, I kind of need it for their not getting hit by the book. So, I'm always thinking about, now that I'm fighting Dracula, or, like, that's the next objective, how am I going to do it? And, like, what is it worth menuing for? So, we've got a, um, Buffalo Star, which is great. But we want to dual wield if we can, if the opportunity presents itself, and it definitely does. So we can, like, we've got the, um, I do have Holbein Dagger, oh, not Holbein Dagger, sorry. I do have, um, Walker Knives, which are exceptional, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise, they are the fucking best. And, because I didn't sort my menu, I know that Walker Knife's at the top. So... It's an easy extra source of damage that I'm not going to have to fuck around in the menu to get to. That's perfect. The um, If we had an attack potion or something, it'd be worth it, but like, do we know where to get it in the menu? Is it going to take more time to get access to and then like menu back and forth for it? Ah, uh, fuck. Fucking birds. Okay, let's not die. Fuck, what am I doing now in my life? All right, here we go. We're back at it. So yeah, having a plan, going into Dracula, knowing what you're going to equip for and stuff will save a couple of seconds of time. Knowing if you want to save and stuff like that will save some time. The, um... Unfortunately, with my 58 health, we are kind of in danger here. The, um... And our biggest objective is not to die. I'm just going to go into the save room here. I really want to be able to just soul steal someone, but there's going to be no one around before I'm in danger, so... We're just going to do this. Alright, um, yeah, that's it. I mean, there's nothing crazy to say about Dracula or any of that that hasn't been said before, and I'm certainly not an expert to talk about it. It's just more of just being prepared for the fight, knowing what you want to do ahead of time beforehand, and um, not fucking around so much in the menu. Ideally, not saving either, the, um, unless, like, you know, like, um, or unless, like, you think there might be a problem, but, um, which then you absolutely want to save. But, like, we've got duplicators, mana prisms, buffalo stars, Walk on Ives, and I know I have an elixir, so like we're good here, right? But ultimately, if you if you and again to go back to my first point, if you know your game state is not where you need it to be, there's no shame. Like save, like don't die, have poise, right? Live. Whoops, what am I doing here? Alright, Mana Prism one more time here, start this up, go into the menu, let's get our block of knife that we know is right here. The um, And yeah, one more time, cheers. Oh, Poise is like, um, 
poise is just like a like it's it doesn't it's nothing specific to the game but like it's kind of like um like it's kind of just like a character trait of like you know like if things get tough can you hold form right so when i mean it in like this context it's like if you get into a bad situation like keep your head on your shoulders and the biggest thing is just pause the fucking game the um you either a to take a breather to assess the situation in your head and like how you like you can get out of it or more importantly you probably have an item or something if i get in trouble here i can unequip the duplicator the um get more defense back like we can change the situation there's just been like so many times where like i've done something dumb i pause and then i find out oh i have a shield potion it's enough to get through or something like that but yeah it's probably a weird term but i i went through it at the beginning and that's okay if not everyone saw that because that's just how it is but I'll, i think i'm gonna upload this to youtube we'll see how it goes don't like don't share don't subscribe because it's the only video i'm ever putting on so it doesn't matter the um find well go find asd because he's got a whole bunch of shit on there find talic find db find all those guys like share and subscribe their stuff because that's what actually matters all right so we saw the the block of knives did some work against um shaft they're absolutely going to do a lot of work against dracula here actually you know what just for funsies my block of knives are not ideal they only do 86 unfortunately i have one of them i wonder if i can just one cycle dracula with them so every time I throw this out, these guys are just going to be going nuts. Especially if you can get on the side here, because they can throw multiple of them. They do so much work. And yeah, so there we go. So that's, well, I guess it's not time, but I didn't even throw my um, Buffalo Stars. And the block of knives below 90, one cycle Dracula. So, and they started out, I think they were a baseline of like 30 damage or something. Maybe I now meet the strength requirement or something like that. But, um, well, thanks for the GGs, guys. I appreciate it. But yeah, block of knives, if you see them, pick one up. Because if you get the duplicator, it's it's absolutely amazing. If you have two of them, and they're just a bit better, like you just smoke Dracula every time. They went from being the worst item in Season 1 and 2 to being one of the best items in Season 3. The, um, it's crazy. All right, um, I'm going to pause this bad boy now. So hopefully everyone enjoyed that the um, and got some value out of it, hopefully. Again, I am by far nowhere near the best player at this. I'm I'm definitely not. the. Um, I know my ELO was high in the last season, but I think it's kind of misrepresentative. The, um, and hopefully other folks will do something similar to me and give you way more insights than I've given. But, um, but yeah, I hope this has been beneficial and enjoyable. The, um, so I'll probably upload this at some or the next like, day or so, so folks want to see it before the turn tournament but um otherwise i've got to bounce my cars in the shop i hope it's done because they're going to close in a half hour and they haven't called me yet and i absolutely hard need my car tomorrow and they promised me they'd have it done so uh, i'm gonna give those guys a shout but otherwise um thanks for um tuning in really appreciate it, and we'll see you soon and we'll see you all in the tournament because the tournament's gonna be fucking lit it's gonna be great i can't wait for three weeks of open bracket take care actually well, hold on we um i should rate somebody here yeah you don't need your car walk man i gotta walk from Toronto to Kitchener, which is like a two hour drive. That's definitely not happening. Um, all right, who are we gonna do? Let's see, are there rate ski options here? Oh, Freeland's wearing Symphony of Night. Let's, um, let's fucking go. And he's wearing sunglasses, which is fucking balling. All right, so let's, um, let's show Freeland some love. I think he's gonna be in the tournament as well. But uh, okay, run then. <laughs> awesome, CSTC, everyone. We'll, we'll talk to you all soon. Take care.